All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are live. This is a special edition, New Year's edition. It's going to be 2K15. Hopefully, 2015 won't suck like the WWE 2K15 game, but we are back. The Hot Tag Podcast, yours truly, Mr. Shaheen, and my co-host. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, my main man. This hey. joke stops humping me. Boxed man. Do you guys see the shit that I go through, man? We're trying to do a podcast, and I got my pug. He's trying to hump my leg. What I kind can... of shit is this? And the, you, you know, you didn't need to tell us that. This is... Abs- absolutely, man. I'm just no holes barred, man. I, I have to. I have to. No holes The dog humping my leg. I, my dog is... I have to tell the truth. I don't know where the hell. All right. You can do that if you want. If you want to tell the truth, go for it. Truth is fine. Indeed. But, uh, yeah, not, not too much going on in wrestling around this time of the year, I guess. But uh, we did have an episode of Raw. Lucha Underground is off for now until uh, the 7th, I believe. Um, TNA is off for another couple couple weeks, I guess. And, <laughs> yeah, we pretty much just have WWE. But, yeah, they're off. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if they're starting on the 14th or the 15th. I can't remember, but uh, that's a Wednesday or Thursday, so it's one of those days they're starting their new show. What, uh, TNA? Yeah. I thought it was on a Friday. No. I think it's a Wednesday. Yeah, they... they oh. Maybe, maybe they premiere on a Wednesday, and then they, they, they move on to doing their shows on a Friday. Well, they got three shows now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot you were telling me about that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they've got three friggin' shows now, and... I mean, I guess one good thing is they locked up Kurt Angle again. I saw that today. I guess, man. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. Is he, is, can he wrestle? Yeah. Yeah, can. Come on here. Yeah. He can wrestle. Yeah, hopefully, I guess, man. I was kind of uh, uh, I was kind of afraid for Edge last night. Hold on one sec. Let me see. I should have just fixed a little problem we had there. We were uh, we were in stereo. Oh. I was in one ear. You were in the other. I didn't realize I had this set to stereo instead of mono. That should have fixed a problem. They'll let me know in one minute. Can't believe we're still having fucking problems. The hot tag in stereo. It was. He said, should we, uh, we should we should do a podcast like that called Hot Tag in Stereo. There Thanks, you go. Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. We should we should honestly do that. And just uh, you can hear me in one ear and you can hear you in the other ear. We can uh, yeah. see if, if if it's possibly the most annoying podcast in the world. It probably would be that. That was probably the most annoying couple minutes. Do you want to do I'll, that? We might we might be able to uh, might be able to start uh, a gimmick, man. We might catch on. Not really. You're gonna people are gonna get really annoyed with this. Well, according to the WWE, any reaction is good reaction. Oh yeah, any publicity is good publicity. Off. Any reaction is a good reaction. Fucking if, if that's your thinking, no wonder your show blows donkeys right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, fuck, man. Fuck, bro. God damn it, bro. Yep, they're already broing it up in the chat room. Yeah. This show kind of uh, blew, but... I don't know, dude. Do you want to just get into the Raw right away? Because, I mean, there's... Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just get it. I'm, I'm, honestly, dude, I, I'd rather not be here too long tonight. All right, well, let's make it happen. Let's just, uh, let's, uh, forget all the chit Well, let's start with a little chit-chat. How was your Christmas, Shaheen? My Christmas was wonderful, man. I had family, uh, here from Canada. You know, regular good old shit, man. You know, getting, getting good food and exchanging gifts. And unfortunately, we didn't get any snow. I like snow around Christmas. Not to be a corny douchebag like John Cena. But, uh, I, I do like my snow around Christmas, so. That was a letdown. But how how was your uh, Christmas? 
It was fine. I was happy there was no snow. Because you know what I say? Fuck snow. Ah, you live in Texas, dude. You don't get snow. We we get it, but we don't get it like 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 y'all get it. We get. I mean, we do get snow, and it gets pretty thick. But we get ice more than snow. Do you? Yeah, ice ice is terrible. Black ice is is horrible. I am racist against ice. Yeah. <laughs> racist against ice. That stuff can be very dangerous. Yeah, it's true, if, man. If you see it, you should go the other way. I, I, I... <laughs> you Lock. racist bastard. Lock your door, go the other way. You son of a bitch. You just said you were racist. I was just following in. Hey, man. Just because just because I did it doesn't mean you have to you have to make my mistake. Oh man. So now you got to take the heat for it, man. You you took the extra step. You raised this son of a bitch. Listen, if you ask the chat room, they'll tell you my gimmick is going too far. Racist bastard. That's what it is. Nah, but uh, yeah, dude, I, I, I had a good time. I'm all for a couple days. I'm happy, man. Fuck it. Yeah, I had a, I, I did have five days off last week, but oh man. shit, well you you can't be complaining then, man. And five days off in my life is like a day. I still had my kids to run around with. We had to go finish shopping. We had a... Oh, my God. All I wanted to do was find a fucking bottle and a bong and sit. Yeah. That would that would be nice. <laughs> would be nice. Yeah. So, I don't know. It, it, it was rough, but it was nice. It was, it, it was nice to have a couple of days, but um, went up to my sister's, and it was nice. It was nice. Went up there. She got. Uh, she just moved up to a ten acre farm. So she got some. They got horses. They got chickens now, and uh, they're happy. Nice. Yeah. Sounds peaceful. Uh, not with my brother in law around. Well, maybe. Well, I guess I don't. I don't know your brother in law, but I guess I guess alone up there would be peaceful. That's what I'm trying to say. He was here. That would be a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. But, um, all right. Well, fuck it. We, all right. Well, that was Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the most bullshit, like, <laughs> uh, Christmas thing on, on, on podcast history ever. Ah, who cares? You know what? As long as you folks out there had a good Christmas, that's what makes us happy. Speak for yourself. I don't give a shit. Oh, <laughs> just go fuck yourselves. <laughs> no, I'm just messing around. But uh, first, yeah. I hope you had a good Christmas. And remember, if you see ice, go the other way. Well, black ice. <laughs> black ice always. Hey, it's my blanket, you stupid dog. All right, my dog just stole my blanket right off my legs. Dude, my, my dogs steal everything from me. They steal my food. You know, I if, I bring, if I bring women around. For some reason, my dog, he loves, like, panties. So he'll steal, like, any panties around, and he'll just kind of, like, munch on it. Well, here's my record. Here's, fucking weird. Here's, here's the best way to stop that, Shaheen. What's that? Stop wearing women's panties. Well... That's going to be hard, dude. Oh, all right. I'm just saying it's a good, easy fix. I felt like Dr. Phil right there. If you don't want the dog eating panties, stop wearing panties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when I wear panties, man, they don't they don't taste like vagina. That's what he likes. He likes the taste of vagina. Oh, fucking Dr. Phil. God damn him. You're a poor man's Dr. Phil. Fucking Dr. Phil. You don't want to eat anymore. Just stop eating. Fuck you. By the way, have you seen that Iron Sheik documentary? I really want to see that. I have not. Oh, dude, it looks so good. I, I want to see that. I have not seen it, but I uh, probably will. There's a few things. I, I really need to like take some time and start watching. I, I got a few things I need to still watch. I still haven't watched the Paul Heyman thing, and I want to badly. Yeah. And uh, there's actually a bunch of stuff on the network I want to check out. Like what? Um, I do want to see that uh, that thing they showed last night. I'd like to see the Edge and Christian thing that they showed with the Hardys and all them. The rivalry. Ah, come on, man. I, 
I do. I haven't heard all the um talk about the. Uh, I've heard all the I'll talk about the Attitude Era stuff. I want to see all the Monday Night War stuff. I yeah, I don't know, man. Just just certain certain feuds and, and, and rivalries. I just I'm just done with it, man. I've seen it so many times. Like Edge and Christian and Dudley's. Believe me, I was I was a huge fan of their TLC matches. I, you know, I was a big fan of Austin Rock. But god damn it, I've I've seen it on 14 different DVDs. I've seen it recapped on on 30,000 different shows. Like I don't know, man. It just it feels like the same shit over every, every every week. All they give us is like the same old shit. And you know, that's 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 kind of fine with me cuz I'm I'm happy with the network. I mean, I don't really have that much time to look around and when I do it's usually the old ECW stuff so yeah I, I, I do want to take some some time maybe this weekend I'll get some stuff done I'm gonna try to get my ass to relax this weekend but uh, it's been so hectic man yeah so you're cutting out are you cutting out you sound fine to me no I don't know who's cutting out who knows I don't know it's the internet, people. Sometimes things cut out. You can't help it. All right. Ha ha ha. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. But uh, I don't know. Do you want to get into Raw? Let's get into Raw. Oh, Let's get into goddamn Raw. I forgot we were going to talk about Raw, weren't we? Isn't that what we're here to do? I guess. I don't really. I. I don't want to look at it like that as, as we just come in here to talk about Raw. I'd really just rather just do a wrestling podcast where we just talk about wrestling and not have to talk about, like, you know, what happened necessarily this week. Oh, we don't have to talk about it, but it's the easiest way. We can fly through it. We can go through it very, very quickly for all I care. Yeah, yeah. I got, yeah let's, let's skim through this bullshit. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great show. I didn't think it was a, a horrible show. Overall, I'll start with that. I didn't think it was a horrible show. I thought it was um, a little slow, but uh, I enjoyed the ending. I know some people did, some people didn't, but I thought it was an awesome ending. But um, and like I, I like I said, I think Rollins did an incredible job. But um, I guess we'll start real quick at the beginning with Edge and Christian come out. Um, these guys can get away with comedy that I don't think a lot of guys can get away with. Now, can I can I make a general statement about like wrestling fans and and last night's raw? All right. Well, this, I've I've been doing this new thing where uh, if I am awake, which is rarely, through live raw, you know I'll watch it at eight o'clock. But chances are, by nine o'clock, nine thirty, I'm like a you know eighty year old fucking grandpa. You know I'm out. Hmm. That, shit, that shit puts me right to sleep, dude. I can't, you know. But anyway, I saw a lot of people complaining and saying last night's Raw was one of the worst editions of Raw. And from what I saw, and mind you, I saw like I don't know, like ninety seven percent of Raw. I just missed the last five minutes. But I didn't really think it was that bad. And uh, I don't know. Recently, I've been going on YouTube and kind of uh, just clicking on what's trending as far as, you know, WWE. That way I can get a better perspective of, you know, what everybody thinks and, you know, the, the, the smart marks and the, and the fucking, you know, the weirdos that, that wear John Cena belts and all that shit all collectively. And last night, pretty much everybody was angry with the show. And I honestly didn't think it was that bad. I, I I don't know. I didn't see it as that bad of a Raw. I mean, I think there was some bad segments, but I just didn't see it as like, oh my god, this is the worst Raw I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't think it was that bad, dude. No, I, I, I didn't either. I was saying the stream is fucked up. Keep going. I'm going to restart the stream while, while we're talking. Alright, bruh. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think I think a lot of people just like to complain, including us. I mean, complaining is fun, but I try to actually complain about shit that pisses me off and not just come on here and just complain because I have to. But uh, that seems to be a pattern in, in, in wrestling fans. They just like to complain about every fucking thing. I'm sure people were complaining during the Attitude Era, weren't they? I mean, 
I was a teenager, but I'm guessing people, you know, the, the 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 people that were reading the fucking Observer and all that shit, they were probably gonna, you know, complain their ass off regardless. You know, at the time you don't appreciate it, so maybe wrestling will be fucking garbage in like ten years. It, right now it's like garbage, but maybe in ten years it'll be fucking garbage, and then we'll look back like, damn, ten years ago when we had that uh, WrestleMania 30 main event, that was a really good one. I wish we could get that again. So I don't know, man. People just like to bitch and complain. Yeah, pretty much. I've, I've, yeah, pretty much they do just like to bitch, complain, moan. But what do you, I don't know. There's not much you can do. Just I mean, the, 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 I don't know. That's what the internet's gotten everybody doing is just complaining. Now I'll tell you what, though, man. I will give them credit for trying something new because they actually gave the mic to a uh, Ryback last night. They've been giving the mic to Seth Rollins. You know, they've been giving the mic to, to fucking Ziggler for a little bit. You know, so you, you, you have to be fair, man. I mean, we shit on them all the time, but at least they're trying something new. I'd rather see that than John Cena come out three times in one night like he was last year. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, we, we kind of said this is something they should do anyway. Right. So maybe they're listening to us. I don't know. Yeah, out of like the hundred people that listen to this, one of them is WWE. <laughs> you never know. But I don't know. I mean, we said they should definitely take some chances and give a few guys the mic. Definitely looks like they gave Cesaro the mic last night. Oh, yeah, that's another guy. But then what the fuck, dude? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm like, what? Yeah. I felt like they were giving him a, 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 a new start. You know, they gave him the mic, and I thought he was going to kind of embrace like the whole you know, grab the brass ring thing and, and the, you know, they were going to use Vince's comments and, and actually use it as an angle to kind of push this guy. And no, he just came out and, and it was a fucking squash match for uh, Wade Barrett. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much exactly what it was. So skinny-ass Barrett is, is above uh, Cesaro. That's awesome. I guess, man. I, I'm, I'm. He did. You know what? I'm glad you just said that because I said he looked skinny too, and I got attacked a little bit in the chat room. But uh, dude, you look skinny as shit. He, he even said he looked skinny in a tweet last night. That uh, right after he joked with uh, DDP a little bit. Yeah, he did. Uh, he kind of straight out stole DDP's thing, but he, he did. Why does he do that? That's like. I, and that, but then he gets on Twitter afterwards and jokes about it. So I don't know. It, it wasn't a big deal. I kind of thought it was funny. I don't know, man. I mean, DDP is. I don't know. With all due respect, I mean, he's one of those guys that I probably wouldn't copy. <laughs> huh? Got to give the guy a little credit. He's doing good. He's doing pretty good for himself. Oh, I'm sure he's doing well. But I'm just saying, as far as his, his wrestling ability and his catchphrases and stuff, I don't know, man. He was just never really. Uh, main eventer to me. I mean, I, I respect what he did, you know, especially at his age, you know, to have the balls to kind of chase his dreams and, you know, fulfill his dreams and, and become the WCW champion at what, like 37, 38, whatever the fuck he was. But. Well, it was th- he started. What? He was 35 when he started. Oh, shit. Well, uh, in w- Yeah, w- <laughs> he was 35 and when he went for that uh, here, here we go. Went for the brass ring in WCW. All right, fuck. Well, uh, damn. I'm, I'm I'm a bigger fan of DDP than I thought. Then. There you go. God damn it. I like DDP, man. He's he 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 was entertaining as hell. Yeah, I guess. Mhm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now you're just <laughs> now you're just agreeing to be annoying. Oh man. Oh shit, man! We have to stretch it. It was a fucking boring, uh, boring episode of Raw. <laughs> we don't really have much else. I still... uh, unless you want to talk about some audio blade jobs as usual. I listened to the last week's show and I laughed so hard at our stretching. Goddamn audio blade jobs! But we did pretty good at stretching it. It wasn't that big of a deal. Shit, we stretched it so much we went three hours and twenty minutes. We stretched it so much that we went overtime. <laughs> we actually got into it. it it actually didn't seem like stretching at the end. It actually started rolling, but uh, yeah, it was it, it was fun. I think we had a pretty good show last week, so uh, no worries right there. Yeah, man. 
I think this is uh, episode 24, by the way. That's pretty cool. At 22, 23, I don't know. I think you put it in as 24, dude. It's 24. I think you put it in as 22. No, 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 no. Last last week was 23, but I didn't name it 23. Did you put in 23? You're correct. Calm down, Shaheen. All right, see? There you go, man. I said you were right. Self high five. That's that. I like that though. You had to like it. Yeah. Self high five. That's fucking retarded. All right. Let's get the packs heated up. God damn it. What? Self high five. Look, man. I'm just heating up my vaporizer. All right. It's cool, man. Hell yeah. I never thought I would like vape. I actually, I actually really like vaporizers. So. Now, that's good stuff. It, 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 it just takes a while to get used to them. But once you do, man, I'm telling you right now, when your stuff starts tasting horrible, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be upset because you feel like a snob. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the, the juice vaporizer. Yeah, I literally, I can't even. If I smoke a cigarette now, it, it, it tastes like I actually tastes like ash, dirt and ash, and like rat poison and tar and fucking <laughs> piss and you know. Uh, it doesn't go that far, but it's pretty bad. Little bits of crack from the '80s. It's the '80s crack. Left out in Harlem under a bridge. They just grind it up and put it in. New force and, and hand it out. What movie was that I watched where the girl was, where the dude was sticking crack in cigarettes? It was like, it was, I think, it was, I think it was like an after school special or something. Man, a very special after school show. I'm surprised people are still smoking crack. Doesn't that just just fucking baffle your mind? <laughs> like, dude, you've seen people like fucking. Turn to to walking dead zombies off this shit for thirty years, and and you're gonna try it in two thousand and fifteen? Really? People still do heroin. Yeah, I guess. I mean, people. Yeah. I mean, fuck, dude. Look, I mean, that's like saying, oh, people still drink. I can't believe people drink still. Alcohol's been around forever. Right, but alcohol doesn't. I don't know, man. It's not like crack. I mean, man, speaking of alcohol. Maybe I can finish a beer tonight. There you go, man. I didn't finish one beer last week. I never we are, we are not a very straight edge podcast, are we? Just smoking and drinking and fucking No, we vape. We don't we don't smoke. Don't don't be like that she hmm? <laughs> Smokey the Bear will come and get you. I'm surprised John Cena doesn't doesn't do any like Smokey the Bear commercials or anything. Can't you see him doing that? I could see him doing a Smokey the Bear commercial. Of course you can. He's probably done one. They probably got one in the stash. Just hugging some guy for making his chains not spark. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this fucking guy, man. Oh, dude. Can you imagine? Like, I already know. I'm going to be complaining about Cena for the next, like, ten years. That's so sad. That that makes my life like kind of miserable. I don't think we're gonna get ten more years of him. Dude, we're gonna get so many years of this uh, fucking guy. Are you kidding me? I don't. Dude, first of all, uh, I don't know if you're talking right now because you broke out. First of all, you, you got to remember the guy is old right now. I mean, he's not old as age, but for a wrestler, he's getting up there. He's thirty-seven. Hopefully. Well, yeah, so he doesn't have 10 more years. Hopefully he's 39. I think he's 37. I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully he's 40, man. Fuck. But I don't know, bro. That's just... it's it's It just seems to... I, I, I don't know. I mean, as much as he works and shit, I don't think he's going to make it much longer. I think they're just going to beat the shit out of him while they can, get as much use out of him as they can, and then... They've got Roman Wayne, Ro- Roman Reigns in the wings to shove down our throats. Well, thank God Roman Reigns. Why am I getting background sound? Hmm? Why am I getting background sound? I don't know. 
Do you have headphones on? Uh, yes, sir, I do. I don't know what happened. Shit's going wild. See, this happened to me last week and the week before, and we never figured out what it was. Yeah, so, I don't. Shit went crazy. Is but, it? Uh, can are you are you guys on the stream? Are you guys getting a, uh, a feedback from me? A they, fucking echo. I'm not getting a feedback from you on my end, so you shouldn't be getting shit. Yeah, I don't know. Well, now now it's back to normal, actually. All right. Well, anyway. Speaking of Roman Reigns, do you see this guy main eventing WrestleMania? Because I don't. Yeah. You do? Listen. No. Shove him down our throats. It doesn't matter if you like him or not. Open your mouth. Take it. Deal with it. That's what I'm being told. Nope. I will not open my mouth, dude. Pretend this shit tastes like pizza. Nope. Roman Reigns can rain on somebody else, man. Not over here. Yeah, I I, I I agree, but I, I know and I can see, and they're doing it already. They're going to push him down our throats. Just yeah, like but, I mean, uh, the same the same scenario as last year, man. I mean, the same thing's going to happen. Daniel Bryan, he's going to be fucking over. <laughs> they oh, come on, man. They're not going to let let Roman Reigns get get shat on already. I don't know, man. But I'll tell you what. Last night. Since you know that, there you go. See, you you just segued us right back into Raw. Um, Daniel Bryan coming back, I think, is a game changer for a lot. Yeah, like, that just changed. You know, like we were talking about last week, what's going to happen at WrestleMania? We said it depends on who comes back. Well, there's one coming back, so now we need to see what happens. But I don't know, man. I, I I'm definitely looking forward a little more. <laughs> and I, I actually would really like to see Brock and uh, Daniel Bryan. Really, I'm cool with that, man. Give give me Brock and uh, Bryan. I told you, man. Give me Brock and Bryan. You know, actually, you know what? I know we're all over the place. I'm sorry. I had a couple of drinks. Give me a fucking break. Let's go back to Cena for a second, right? Uh oh. One second, just one second, give me one minute. Now, I said I was going to be bitching about Cena for the next ten years, and you may ask why. Even if this guy retires in the next four years, I'm going to be bitching about him for the next ten years. Do you know why? Mm -mm. Well, I'll tell you why. Because this guy is going to be still stealing main event spots at WrestleMania for the next ten years. I'm not going to disagree with you there. That's going to piss people off, man, including myself, because, again, this guy doesn't let anybody, you know, get through and grab that brass ring. So even when he retires, this fucking guy's going to come back and pretty much bury people. He's going to be like The Rock. <laughs> even worse, though. He'll come oh. back every year. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, <coughs> who? You are excused. Oh, man. I think I. Oh, forget it. Ooh. Don't don't. What did you shit yourself? No, that was a good hit. Oh, righty then. <laughs> All right. Well, you said forget it. You scared me for a second. I thought you did something embarrassing. No, I'm good. All right. As long as you didn't shit yourself, we can continue. Oh no! If I shit myself, I would say <laughs> I just fucking shit myself. <laughs> awesome. At least you would admit it. That's good stuff. I'd admit it with a mad laugh. <laughs> Yeah! Vince McMahon would love that. Wouldn't he? Buddy. What? Vince McMahon would love that, wouldn't he? He loves shit jokes. Oh, he would. He'd be like, oh, he shit himself, pal! <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. What billionaire do you know is, like, this obsessed with, like, you know, fucking gross humor with vomit and, and shit? You know, you know Probably more than you think. They just don't have the, 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 balls, I, right? or, or the balls. Uh, I'm grapefruits. Grapefruits, yeah. Don't, don't forget the grapefruits. <laughs> so, I don't know. Probably more than you think. They just don't get out there and talk about it. I guess. Man. Yeah, that's probably true. Austin admits the time he shit himself in the ring. Shit, John Cena did too. 
Well, John Cena shits. Well, forget it. I'm not gonna. Yeah, make he shits the bed every time he he steps in the. the... <laughs> it, it was too hacky for me to even say it. I shit the bed, man. Every time he steps in the four ropes, according to Cesaro. Yeah. <laughs> I should have done it in morning zoo DJ voice. That would have been better. Did you see that meme that that came out with uh, Cesaro? Which one? And Vince, it's like. It's like Vince. It basically recaps what what Vince said during that uh, Austin podcast, and he was like, uh, you know, he, he doesn't, you know, the the language barrier, you know, keeps him from from connecting with the fans or something along those lines. But something with the with the language barrier, and then on the bottom it said like, you know, the four ropes thing, and then it has Vince like laughing, and I'm like, oh, he kind of has a point. <laughs> you know, can't can't really argue with the guy now. No, you know he gave him the mic for three seconds and he botched it. But I don't know. Well, yeah, you know, you, but but you know what? You give Roman Reigns the mic for three seconds, he may botch it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like how he kind of rebound himself, though. He kind of made a joke about it, you know. He was like, "Oh, uh, yeah, that's four sides." Or... Yeah, he caught himself, and I mean, he so you know what? Maybe that was a scripted line. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Then again, with WWE, I don't know, man. Nothing would surprise me. You never know. But, I mean, they definitely handed Ryback a mic last night. Said, go. Yeah, which I'm, I don't know, man. I mean, do you see the purpose for this? Like, why they gave him the mic? Um, uh, so it, was, it was very random. So you get to know him better, and maybe he's going to get a big push next year because of it. Like, I don't know, man. It was it was very odd to me because he usually comes out and he says, like, three words, you know, like, feed me more or, you know, Ryback rules. And and then he comes out and, you know, he's kind of showing emotion. And it kind of made me think, like, it, it actually made me anticipate, you know, Daniel Bryan retiring, really. I thought, I definitely thought Brian had a, well, but, I mean, you knew it was going to be a tease retire and then good news, so. Yeah, because, I mean, the way the way they gave him the mic, it almost seemed like, all right, this is our backup guy. Get familiar with him in case we need it. Mm. You know, because it's, it's adding a little depth to the guy, you know, believe it or not. You know, I don't really, I don't want to say it was a great promo, but. At least you got to know Ryback a little bit better. I actually enjoyed it. I mean, it was yeah, a little, yeah. it was awkward. It was out, you, you know what? I'm not even going to say awkward. It was out of character. I, I think that's probably the best way to put it. It was out of character from what you would see Ryback do. So it did make it a little weird, but I thought it was actually good. I liked it. Yeah. You know what? It's um, it's actually weird that. You know, they had footage from him back in the day in NXT and different gimmicks, and they actually, you know, mentioned his his old names. They don't usually do anything like that, especially like, you know, when you think about it, like the whole uh, feud that uh, Brock Lesnar and Big Show had last year at the Rumble. They would refuse to to you know acknowledge that that these guys faced before. You know that they had matches and uh-huh. and you know broke the ring or whatever the hell they did. And, you know, same same with Undertaker and Lesnar. They they barely acknowledged the fact that these guys had previous matches. You know, they had a fucking hell in a cell match, one of the bloodiest ones. You know, so it's kind of weird that they actually made made mention of you know his his previous gimmicks and you know he's been around for what ten years or you know whatever it is. But you know, I liked it, man. I mean, I like I like them trying something new. You know, like I give them credit. They're trying something new. They're giving us some new guys. We're seeing. Clearly, you see, you see Harper is somewhat getting a push. Ziggler, Ryback, Rusev. I mean, you know, we're getting a couple new guys, so we can't complain too much. I, I basically just complain about Cena. The rest of it, I'm somewhat fine with. But uh, that fucking guy, man, that guy is like poison to me, man. I see this guy, and instantly the show goes from whatever it may be, like three grades down. I'm sorry about that, but. Back to Ryback. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to draw it back to, to fuckboy Cena. No, you'll don't, dude. You, it, it's early. You have all night to talk about Cena. So I'd and, rather not. Trust me, you will again. 
I'm but sorry. I don't know, man. I really like this Ryback thing. I actually forgot that he was on that 2004 um, Million Dollar Tough Enough. I forgot with, with Daniel Pewter. only one I remember from that was Daniel Pewter, to be honest with you. I don't even remember him. I, I remember him because of what happened with him and Kurt Angle, where he almost beat Kurt Angle. Oh, I, yeah, when he started uh, shooting on him, I did see that. Uh, hey, Kurt Angle asked if anybody wanted to get in the ring, and Daniel Pewter jumped in. I thought, and I think the whole world thought for a minute, uh, Angle was about to go down. Angle freaked out for a second, if you want. Yeah, I, I've seen it on uh, seen it on YouTube. Yeah, I I remember watching it, so, yeah. That uh, I mean, uh, but I completely forgot that he was on that with with them, and that he got eliminated in fourth. But I remember watching that. Um, I don't know. I, I liked it. I thought it, it it definitely. I mean, if you want to talk about character development, I think that's about as good as you can get right there. Yeah, I mean, you, I mean you know, that, yeah. You know who I'm really liking right now? Tell me, then we'll both know. Rusev. Yeah. Dude, he's good, man. I mean, you saw him last night with Ziggler. It was a good match. You you know, you put him in the ring with somebody good. I think I think the guy can work, especially for, for Ben. You know, he, he hasn't been around forever. I mean, he's still learning. You know, compare him to uh, Roman Reigns. He's better than him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, you know, credit to Roman Reigns. He, he, I guess last night was probably one of his better matches. It was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely thought it was a, a good match, and I mean, he he sell you know, he's at least one guy that when he gets put you know in a move, he'll sell the move after the match. That's something we can appreciate at least, you know. He'll, even if they, even if they shove this guy down our throat, at least he'll fucking sell, you know. Yeah, he'll, he'll get stabbed in the fucking arm and come out the next day and fucking do uh, you know shoulder tackles and shit. Oh, well, they don't, you know, he yeah. I, I, He's not going to take 16 suplexes and then come back the next night, take out a whole fucking stable. But yeah. who knows? You know what? Let's 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 not say he's not because we don't book it. They do. Yeah, I mean, he probably actually will be like seen up. <laughs> yeah, it, that's what you know. I thought about that and said, "Oh shit, we shouldn't do that because it could happen in the next week." Oh man, I I mean. You know, judging from the last few weeks, clearly I don't hate Reigns yet. Do you, I mean, do you think that's going to be the new John Cena? I'm just going to be bitching about Reigns like in five years. I'll just hate Reigns every episode if we're still doing it in five years. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Man. Probably Trust me, we're going to find someone to hate monthly around here. <laughs> I, bet, I bet. As long as Cena's around, we don't have to find too many people. No. Yeah. Exactly. You can take the heat. See our uh, our, our chat room agrees that they're, they're they like Rusev or as they're calling him Brosef, Brosef and the Bros Bro agree. Yep, they do. So uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, you know, the, I liked the guy when he first came out. Like I said, I like the little things he does. I like when someone wrestles barefoot. I don't know why I like it. I honestly don't have a reason. It's savage like. It's it's throwback like, and it reminds me of I guess the Von Erichs, but um, I like it. I like that little thing about him. I think for a big guy, he can move, and I don't know. He's definitely got some charisma, and I don't know. Well, I think he's decent. Man. I, I like him. I, I, I do, too. I like it. And you know, do you realize, in us just talking, we have already gone over the first two matches? That's what I was shooting for. I was hoping we went through a half a roll. Well, we went through, well, well. I did. We already talked about Cesaro and Bad News Brown and all that shit. Well, yeah, but you forgot about the uh, Nikki Bella and Natalia match. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty then. I I did like how he uh, how he caught Nikki though. I like that spot. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Tyson Kidd, man. You know what? Let's go ahead and get into this. If if you're gonna watch the Bella match, you should be watching for Tyson Kidd right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Tyson Kidd is the best part of these matches. Um, I will say, Nikki, I did like her. I mean, her ass is just starting to 
jiggle around that ring when she walks. It's nice. Yeah, I like it. I like that too. I, I definitely like that. She's getting them big, thick thighs on. She's looking good. Looking yeah, good. Man. Thickness is good, man. I, I don't. I don't like skinny chicks. Not like fat chicks, but you know, like like Nikki, like kind of thickness. I like that shit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Brie looked like a, a a 15 year old anorexic last night with the hat and her hair. But anyway, we're not here to judge how women. <clears throat> yes, we are. Oh yeah, we are. Anyway, yes, we but, are. Um, Tyson Kidd right now is the best thing in that ma- in, in in those matches. So. I'm glad to see him getting a push, even if it's just this bullshit right now, and it's really only a push for Total Divas. I know. Is he still in a uh, tag team with Cesaro? Um, I don't think that. I, I think they've only done it on some smaller. Sh- like they did it on a Superstars, I think, what two weeks ago or something. Um, but um, I, I, I don't think they're getting rid of it. I would actually like that tag team. Ah uh, yeah, definitely would. I, I I'm I really like it's like it's like a fucking it's it's like you know Kings of Wrestling 2.0 pretty much. Yeah, I mean everyone's saying go check you know check out the match because it's really good. The that that they worked well together. I haven't seen it, but I've listened to a few podcasts who and they've all said it was like awesome, and you know they work together and they're great. And but you know these yeah. podcasts. Also. I, I heard I heard one of the best matches of, of this year was uh, Cesaro against Ziggler against uh, Tyson Kidd on SmackDown. I didn't watch it, but I I heard it was it was fantastic, man. I, I heard they gave him like twenty five minutes or twenty minutes, and these guys just went all out. I don't think I saw that one either. Yeah, I I really heard everybody raving about it. So sounded like it was good. Well. Those, I mean, those three definitely should be able to put on a hell of a match. Yeah. I mean, you would hope. I would hope, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there we go. Look at that. We're nailing these matches. We're knocking this have, shit out. Have you seen Tyson Kidd's, uh, like, 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 childhood pictures? Yeah, he looks the same. Yeah, but he kind of looked like, like a girl. Well, he still looks kind of girly. He still looks a little... Dude, the, the picture that I saw, he clearly had lipstick on. Well, maybe Natalia likes some freaky shit. Maybe. She, may, maybe they're doing... Uh, maybe they're, like, switching... Switching, uh... You know, sex, sexualities. Maybe maybe she's, like, a dude, and, and he's, like, an undercover girl. Switching the seats? Oh. Yeah, yeah they're, they're switching genders. Man, you guys heard it here, folks. Tyson That'd be kid, weird. Tyson Kid takes it up the ass. You heard it here. That would be weird. <laughs> that would that would suck, man. She just like pulls out like a, a big ass schlong, like way bigger than his. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Oh uh, yeah, that really would be. <laughs> that's that's a pretty good reason to divorce. I had a, I had a, I had a, a roommate of mine who. <laughs> his sister was married to this old ex-marine. He wasn't an old guy. He was a middle-aged guy. He was like like 35 at the time. And uh, those two broke up. And his sister came to live with us for a while. And she started telling stories about how he would demand that she put on a strap-on and fuck him in the ass. Oh, whoa, <laughs> dude. Whoa. And I'm like, this guy whoa. was... Marine. Oh my God! What's going on in the Marines? What the fuck, man? And you should. And and if you knew this guy, this guy was he was from New York. He was the classic New Yorker. He would look at he he would look up at that he would look you know go at places and he would walk up to this guy and go, Hey, who's better than you? Me. He. And this guy likes to get fucked up the ass. Well, we found out why he was such an annoying douchebag. He was getting he was getting hit in the seat. I... Man. Yeah, I don't know why. That just made me think of that story. I, 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 I will never forget that story the night she told it. I was hammered drunk out of my mind, and I will never forget that story. Now, Bod actually just posted up a, a, a gif of a... Like, <laughs> Oh, a robber getting German suplex. That's awesome. 
Yeah, I'm looking at all these. Oh, that's awesome. I'm looking at some. They're also yeah. They're well. They're talking about expendables and stuff too. You know, I mean, they're not going to talk about what we're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm trying to multitask. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Hey, I've only got. I, I've got three computers going. How many you got? Uh, I just got one. I got yeah. a laptop sitting next to me, but it's not on. I'm not doing it. I mean, I can pretend like I'm cool and you know turn the shit on and uh, <laughs> take, take a selfie with me while I'm doing the podcast with like you know multiple computers going on. Yeah, uh, I can't help it if I I don't want to do too much on this one, so I broke out the laptop while we were talking. I mean, I can I can make it look cool. I got a bunch of shit here that can make it look professional, but I'm not using any of it. That's cool, man. That's you know? how we but, do it, man. Gorilla style. <laughs> Every, I, I think I'm surprising people with the story I just told. Guys, I got a lot of stories. I've had a I've had a pretty fun life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Marines getting fucked in the ass by dildos, man. Jesus. Meanwhile, the sister was fucking hot. She better make up for it somehow, man, in the family. Jesus. She was hot. As a matter of fact, I still, I, I do still talk to this, the, talk to the the roommate. Um, I've talked about him before. He was this guy was tattooed from head to fucking toe, and I mean his toes were tattooed spider webs. Man. Yes. That is, is tatted. This guy was tattooed literally from everything but his face. But uh, yeah, he was definitely uh, he was a good guy. Are there a lot of face tattoos in uh, in Texas? I saw one the other day when I was at um, at a restaurant, but I've only seen one. And and there's a lot of tattoo shops around here, though. Uh, it must have been a fancy restaurant. Uh, not really. It, <laughs> I bet. I mean, you got a fucking... Yeah, it was called the diner. What does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, there's, there's like, a lot of fucking, uh, dudes with, like, you know, tattooed faces out here now. Not, you know, like, in Philadelphia in general, but, uh... Oh. It's weird. I, I, I don't see it much. Like I said, there's a shitload of tattoo places around here, though. I mean, every corner is a tattoo shop. Yeah, I mean the head shop I go to is connected to a tattoo shop. It's fucking weird, man. I, w- I want to see these guys when they're like sixty. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they. I, I did read that there's now some surgery for the gauged out ears where they can replace them and fix them. Yeah, I guess, but uh, I don't know, man. I never found that attractive on on, on girls, or you know. Just fucking, it doesn't bother me, but yeah, I guess there's a way now to fix that shit. But no, I've only seen one face tattoo. Um, no, two. Two. I actually did know a guy who worked at the tattoo shop who had a face tattoo, now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah. He had a little one, but it was still a face tattoo. I, I don't see it much, but then again, I don't get out much. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, different different cultures... And, and Philly are pretty much taken over with the face tattoos. It's like the the punk rockers and like the death metal groups. They all do like face tattoos now. And then it's like the you know the crazy ass like gang bangers. They all do like crazy ass face tattoos. Yeah. And it's like the fucking weird like vampire cult. You know? <laughs> Everybody has face tattoos. Ugh. So that's always fun. Now, I'll tell you what. What was that? I just couldn't even imagine tattooing my face. I just couldn't even think about it. No, that's a horrible idea. I think so, too. Terrible, terrible idea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And, I mean, there's some, I don't know, kind of ruins some girl's look, too. Yeah, definitely. Did you ever see that show, Ink Master? Yes, sir. All right, I I love that show. I just watched the I we we just watched the last season. Good job, Jason. But um, yeah, we were uh that girl tattoo baby. Oh, I loved her. Did you see her? Did you see the special they just showed with her on it? Mm, I don't believe so. Just had a kid. Really? Yeah, like re like re like re- really recently. That's but, sad news. 
I don't know. You should have seen those giant milky jugs on the screen. <laughs> well, it is sad news. It's not mine. No. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. But again, you should have seen those giant milky jugs. <laughs> the fuck, dude? That was supposed to be mine. Yeah, she is fucking hot. But yeah, she got a tattoo on her face, and it really kind of made her not look very hot anymore. Well, she had them before. She had them when she first when she came on the second season. She had them on the bottom of her neck, but then she like she's got one like right on her temple now. Oh, I don't know about that. No, she used to have one right, uh, right next to her eye or something. Well, it's bigger now. I, I didn't think she had that when she came in second season because I don't remember it. I thought she did. She had it. I don't know. I could, I could be wrong, but uh, I thought she had it. I don't know. I don't think she did. But yeah, that that that's a badass show. They're doing another one tonight, actually, for the New Year's. Yeah, I can't, I can't watch it anymore, man. Once you've seen like two seasons, it's kind of like a. Oh no! This was a good season. It was rivals. What was it? I may have to check it out. All right, you're back now. This was a good season, though. They had rivals against each other. They tattooed against each other a lot. Nice. Yeah, was pretty check it out. Yeah, it's on demand. Check it out. Do you have any tattoos? No. Oh, man. I'm really man. afraid. Like, like, I'm afraid of getting a shot. Like, a, like, like. I'm afraid of needles. Oh, geez. oh, man. You don't know what I've been through with tattoos. And and I know it's not the same. Everyone says it's a completely different thing, and the needle's different, and it just looks like a gun, and it's not. it doesn't hurt. It's just annoying. Oh, it hurts, man. After you sit under there for about two hours, that shit will start hurting. I don't know who told you it doesn't hurt, but... I don't... Well, uh, who else? A tattoo artist. Um, yeah, well... <laughs> It's kind of his job to kind of manipulate you to, you know. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he, really, he was more my, you know, I mean, I was buying weed from him, but, I mean, he was still a tattoo artist. He was at the, um, he worked right next door to the cigar shop I worked at, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, it was it was pretty cool. But, yeah, he was, he's, and he was good from what I, from what I read about him. He was really a good, oh, God, fucking Ice cream on your face. Jesus Christ, that tattoo is horrible. Um, oh, the Gucci man? Yeah. Gucci man. <laughs> oh, man, the, the world's biggest fucking asshole. Yeah, Gucci kept man. But uh, he said it's it's just annoying more than anything. It doesn't hurt, hurt. But I, 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 hold on one second. I'm so fascinated by the fact that he actually spells his name M-A-N-E, like Gucci man. <laughs> You should just put a G <laughs> Gucci Mang. That's amazing, man. I fucking love that. Gucci Mang. <laughs> Gucci Mang and a motherfucker build a mine. <laughs> Got motherfucker face tattoos and shit, man. You know what? That, that Gucci Mang. You know what's sad? I got no clue who the fuck that guy is. Oh. Uh, it's not sad at all. You don't want to know who that guy is. Yeah, I really have no clue. Who that guy is? Um, the moron. But you look like you got a you 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 look like you got three balls on your face. You yeah. Like three testicles sitting in an in, in a cone. You, uh, do you remember Maya, the the singer? She was like mixed. She was biracial. Uh. She was like an R and B singer. She did some songs with like, I don't know, man. She was famous like in the nineties. Is she an actor now? She may be. I don't know. I think I know you're. T- I, 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 maybe. I think just 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 type in Maya in, in Google when you get a chance. M Y A. Just type in like Maya R and B artist. See if see if you remember that chick. Who? Where? What? Hold on. Where'd you post that? Where'd you post that? Where did I post that? Hold on, Maya. I don't think so, man. I don't remember. Her. Yeah, well, Gucci Man was was banging that chick. Oh, oh, hold on. Isn't that fucking fascinating? That that's that. Oh my lord! Now there's a tattoo. Click that next picture from crazyshit.com. <laughs> Gucci Man looks looks like he's like 
inbred or something, man. That guy's fucking... Wow. Yeah. Now that's a tattoo. Wow. I cannot even post that on the Facebook to share. So... A gross looking asshole. Jesus Christ. Is another reason to come in the oh. chat room, people? Because where else are you going to see asshole tats? Ugh. But from the degenerates, and I love those guys, degenerates yeah. in our chat room. The high taggers. Ugh. That is nasty. God damn. I don't care. That's, that's a bad, that's got to hurt. I'm sure it does, man. It's a fucking asshole. I don't even... I mean, <laughs> I mean, Jesus. I wouldn't even let a chick put her finger near that motherfucker. I oh, man. Even... I, would, I would probably have to go to jail after that, man. I'm not even getting... I'm not letting a fucking needle get near there. Oh, man. That's, that's reckless. Damn, and it says fun center. That's just horrible. I would, uh... I would German suplex her. Oh, God. Who's going to marry that girl? <laughs> German suplex that hoe. Oh, God, that's funny. Go to my... <laughs> You're back to that? I, I love it, man. We should play some Gucci, man. <laughs> oh, God. This guy's you know, amazing. You know what? The last thing I want to get kicked off of YouTube for is something like that. Trust me, Gucci Man does not give a shit if he plays music. <laughs> he probably will. He'll be happy. If you play play my oh my god. Who are these guys? I gotta thank them. Oh. Alright, I guess we should get back to Raw. Or we could just talk about Gucci Man and asshole what? tattoos for the rest of the night. We're flying through this shit. We've already talked about one of the matches anyway. Actually, we've kind of talked about two, but... Uh, here, let's, 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 What? No more asshole tattoo talk? I don't know. I don't even want to go back to it right now. Let's see if there's any more asshole tattoo. Oh. I'm ready to talk about asshole tattoos, to be uh, honest. Picture. What's yeah. this? Oh, you could play checkers on this guy's face. Awesome. That sounds exciting. Yeah, or you could, um, he could end a race, and by that I mean a foot race. Man, he could um, he um, you could play chess. Um, did you see that picture of somebody with a Stephanie McMahon portrait tattoo on their back? Yeah, that's pretty sad. That's crazy, man. That's really sad. So fucking crazy. I mean, I'm down for tattoos, but I would never. And it didn't even. It wasn't even good. I think I might have posted it. I think yeah. I posted that. I posted it a while ago. Was it you? Yeah, it was you. And it wasn't even a good one. It exactly, Weeble. It looks like Stephanie in drag. Probably. Like yeah. like 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 Gene Hackman as Stephanie Man. That's how Triple H likes him though. Well That guy looks some rough looking like China. Well, from China to Stephanie is like a like a massive up up upgrade. Big testicle slang in China. Oh, we got more ass tats. Hold on. Oh Jesus! I God. What happened? Oh come on, man! <laughs> oh. 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 Give me a give me a second while I gouge my fucking eyes out. Oh body you asshole. <laughs> Brody, you are an asshole. Body, bro. What I mean, bro. What what is that shit, bro? Man, I'm I'm scared to click a fucking any links with that guy. Putting XX gifs. Oh, now that's making up for it. Thank you. Can I can I click on it? I will. I was you. Right, hopefully, I won't regret it. All right. Oh no, you're not going to regret those big old titties popping out. We got Asian tits. This is a nice podcast. You guys can't uh, you guys can't see any of this. I guess we should get back to wrestling. Oh, like, they'll listen to this and they'll be like, "Man, fuck these guys." <laughs> I thought they did a wrestling show. Yeah, we did. We're just talking about tits. Like, I can't see this picture of the tits. Like, what the fuck, dude? 
Listen, I put the I, I click the explicit button. So look, we can talk about whatever we want, bro. Bro, bro. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the Usos get the belt from uh, Miz and Mizdow. And can can I talk about this for one second before we skip on to the next match? Because unless you want, you have anything to say about this match? Because I don't really have much. Um, Naomi has a nice ass. Go. She does. A lot of people. Well, Taz, Tazo. Not a lot of people. Tazo was not feeling her ass. I I question that. What's going on, man? I, I think she has a nice ass. Gladly feel her ass. I would too. I'd gladly bite that ass. I I'd probably. Yeah. I I I would, I would tattoo that ass. Yeah, why not? I would. Well, uh, let me let me stop us. Go ahead, Gene. Before you lose. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not not a not a big fan of her face, but uh, her assets are great. <laughs> man. That, so, is a, that is a lucky man from behind. That is a lucky man from behind. He is. <laughs> a lucky man from behind. Uh, Oh, Do you think they like they they wife swap like Jay and uh, Jimmy Uso? I don't know. I don't even know if the other one's got a girl. They never show him with one. Well, man, he, he better get one if he wants to feel what that ass feels like. I mean, he probably, he's probably nailing the diva. I mean, he could probably nail Rosa, if, you know, as long as he lets. Ah, why would you want to? Well, you know, I mean, all you gotta do is let Hayes get some every now and then. Yeah, that's got that. That is weird, man. Yeah, we that, like that. That pretty much like devalues her whole like fucking demeanor. Just looks anything, you know. It's like, yo, you fucking like weights. Mm-mm. She's a she's a true free bird at heart. Yeah, that's disgusting, man. That is that's sad. I feel bad for the for that guy, the the Los Matador. What's his name? Carlos Colon's son. Um, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna refrain from answering. Who gives a shit? That's his name. Um. What? Um. Gives a fuck. Yeah, that's his name. All right. Well, who gives a fuck alone? That guy, man. I feel bad for him. He's sharing a, a woman with Michael Hayes, a man old enough to be his fucking, probably his his father or grandfather even. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to click that next picture. All right. Now, is this sarcastic or? Oh, click it. All right. Oh Jesus Christ. Well, at least it's a woman this time. I know, but all oh, it rings and ugh. Oh, I thought it was Penelope Black Diamond for a second. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not into like the gothic like uh, piercings and all that shit. Kind of <laughs> creeps me out. All right, you were talking about that match. I do want a gothic chick, though. Just without the piercings. Well, yeah, usually you can just find them in, with, with, with just, you know, black dresses and black makeup. But, um... I wouldn't mind banging like a like a witch. Like a... Like Liz Vicious. Like a, like a real witch. Go to, like, New Orleans. You know. There you go. Like, uh... Like the craft. There you go. Get one of those chicks. Yeah, wasn't, uh... What's your name in that? That, uh... Feruza Balk. No idea. Uh, did you ever see Waterboy? Uh, I did. Yes. She was Vicky Valencoe. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. The the punk, the punk chick. Yeah, she was in American History X. Really? Yeah. She was uh, his girlfriend. He was Edward Norton's girlfriend. Huh. I don't remember that. Yeah, the one she's banging. Uh, the one he's banging in the. Uh... Yeah, I just I just don't remember that being her. Yeah. I don't know. All I remember from that movie is is, is uh, Curbstone. Yeah, it's nice that Seth Rollins uses a move that is basically known for being racist in a racist movie. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's that's got to be like the worst way to fucking go out, right? I can think of a few, but that's prop that that would be pretty quite, fucking bad. That Man, we've we've talked about everything but wrestling tonight, haven't we? <laughs> we have talked about wrestling because we've been <laughs> 
talked about Tyson Kidd. We talked about Nikki's ass jiggling in the ring. Uh, We've talked about uh, Tyson Kidd and uh, fucking Natalia being, uh, you know, fucking yeah. swapping genders. Yeah, I mean, all right, so we've talked a little bit about tits tonight, but what are you going to do? Boobies. It's, it happens. Well, tits and ass, dude. TNA. We talked about TNA. There you go. About TNA. We'll make sure we put that in the uh, in the tags. Yep, we, we discussed TNA. There you so go. TNA fans, you have, you have something to look forward to. Um, that's pretty good. We rarely talk about TNA anymore, so you got some TNA tonight. Unfortunately, it's a... Uh, Maybe fortunately, actually, it's tits and ass, and not a total nonstop action bullshit. Yeah, much better this way. Yeah. So fortunately, then. Yeah. There you go. All right. Um. Next match, please. God damn, Raw. You said you were gonna say something about that match before. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I was gonna say this, man. It this match was was pretty good. You know, I thought it was decent, but. The fact that you know any match that gets one super kick and then a, a, a move comes right after it, whether it's like a Samoan drop or you know some kind of cool move, super kick and some kind of move, and, and it gets a this is awesome chant. Have you noticed that? Pretty much. That's the formula: super kick and a, and a and a move to follow up with that, and then you get the this is awesome chance. I found this is awesome chance also come right after you get like a like a move swapping fest where they all do their finishing moves on you know the you know one guy comes in the ring the next guy comes in then the next guy then the next guy and they're just trading finishing moves that's when the crowd will start that this is awesome they're trained yeah but that's 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 still more like worthy of a fucking this is awesome chant than you know a, a super kick and a splash and oh I mean. Dude, I, I, I've I've heard these crowds chant. A st I mean, they've chanted a stare down before. They chanted, "This is awesome!" At fucking Stephanie and and Brie Bella, dude. Yes, yes. Do you see the people you're dealing with, Shaheen? Yeah, I do. Yep, I stand corrected. They are fucking uh, idiots. So. Uh, dude, I'm actually I'm afraid for my life to go to Royal Rumble. Don't be. Don't 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 be. Like I'm gonna have to, cause I'm gonna be up there, and and I'm probably gonna be tailgating all day, so I'm I'm gonna be like kind of on edge and, you know, intoxicated, and and you know, I'm gonna be out there. Let's just put it that way. And uh, I don't know, dude. I like I, I'm gonna like when I get uh like intoxicated and 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 you know in my zone, it's like it's like hard. I'd like to be comfortable, like socially comfortable. And I feel like I'm going to be really uncomfortable with, like, all the fucking weirdos that, like, go to these shows. Because typically I go to, like, the indie shows, and it's more people like myself. And then you get these WWE shows where you get, like, these guys coming in with, like, 17 belts and fucking, you know, all this weird shit going on. And 17 John Cena wristbands on them and shit, and dude's, like, 46. So it's going to be very weird for me to be around that. Yeah, and he's got no kids with him. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the weirdest part. No kids or anybody else with him for that matter. Just a guy with like twelve wristbands. Yep, and like eight hot dogs. Yep. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Too weird. Seventeen finger foams. <laughs> Taking them home, all John Cena, all hustle, loyalty, and respect. It's it's so. I'm actually like the one thing I like about John Cena. Which is like it's so weird because I the only reason I like it is because I hate it so much and it pisses me off so much that I, it makes me think it's such a brilliant heel move. But he's not really doing it as a heel move. But that's how I take it. Is when he comes out and you can clearly tell this guy is getting fucking booed out of the building. You can hear the John Cena sucks. You can hear that shit in the background. And this guy comes out with a smile and raises that goddamn towel that says "Never give up." That is gold, man. Well, maybe you need to learn not to give up. <laughs> I haven't, obviously, on, on wrestling. That's why I fucking watch it still, man. Oh, you did give up for a while. <laughs> I, I had to when this guy came around. <laughs> Literally, like I, I blame me, me, you know, stopping myself from 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 watching wrestling on a weekly weekly basis. It's because of John Cena. Literally, when this guy came around, and not just him. But, like, when that group came around and I was like, you know, I like Batista now, but it was pretty much like Batista, Randy Orton, 
John Cena and like fit, and you know, no offense to Fit Finley or any of those guys, but you know, Fit Finley like being in the main event, you know, and Matt Hardy, and I was like, all right, well, clearly like there's no depth to this roster right now, and I pretty much just have to stop watching. So, like Finley. Yeah, dude, he was like, he, wasn't he like the champ? Uh, I didn't like him enough to remember that, but um, I mean, I liked. I'm, yeah, I liked him as a mid carter, but he was like in he was in main events with like Booker T and all these fucking people. Okay, I don't remember. I guess I should have shut the fuck up on that one. Um, I don't know. Somebody can correct me. I mean, I I wasn't really watching, but I I. I think Fit Finley was was in the main event spot for, on on SmackDown for some time. I think. I don't know, but I just want you to know our chat room is not going to correct you. They are posting pictures of women. Just let them be, please. All right. Well, <laughs> take it easy, man. Don't 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 bust a load on your uh, on your computer now. And don't don't a live podcast. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get all worked up. Yeah. Sorry. This sorry. guy is a. Uh... He's in his Sorry. zone over there. No, I'm good. I'm totally listening to you. Yeah, I'm glad you're off camera. Thank God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm still hitting the packs. I'm good. I bet you are. Yeah. But, uh, what the hell were we talking about? Oh, uh, Fit Finley. I guess we can stop talking about Fit Finley. Yeah. Well, let's stop talking about Fit Finley, I guess. Right. You said you keep saying you're going to say something about this Usos and Miz and Mizdow match. I did. I, that's what I wanted to. Uh, the this is awesome chance because it got a lot of this is awesome chance and it, uh, it kind of surprised me because it wasn't like a great match. I mean, it was an okay match, but oh. you know you, they did a super kick and it gets this is awesome. They did a, sl- a fucking splash. You know, this is awesome. Well, I guess. It's all about training. You got to train them. Yeah, they are brainwashed. Look at them. Yeah, got to train them right, man. I I love Stephanie for that because she 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 even comes out and just makes fun of the people for being so fucking like brainwashed. She's like, literally, I can make you guys chant anything, and she can. It's great. Much. I mean, shit. Daniel Bryan could go out there and chant cunt liquor, and they'd probably chant with him. Probably. He would never say that, though. He'd probably get a vegan chant going. <laughs> This is vegan. <laughs> this is vegan. Tofu farts. There you go, man. Tofu. No, you can't have tofu sushi. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> fucking nasty. Oh man, that would be like, that would be like my nightmare. What sushi? No, tofu with with sushi. Ugh. Yeah, that'd be disgusting. I can't even. I've seen tofu and it makes me gag. Look oh at yeah, dude, I, it's gross. I had a one time. Uh, I'm not a fan. No, I had a. I had another roommate who was vegan, and I wouldn't even let him cook that shit in the house. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I, I have a friend that's really into like the you know holistic things, and he's he's vegan and. He loves all that shit, man. He's in the, you know heavily into meditating and all that stuff and stuff. This guy eats, man. He eats like a fucking squirrel. Hmm. You know, it's like seeds and shit. He just like pulls out a pocket full of seeds. I'm like, what is that, dude? It's not even like almonds or anything. It's just fucking weird seeds that I've never seen in my life before. Like chia seeds and stuff. Yeah, it's like weird shit. I'm like, oh, all right, I guess, man. You want a cheesesteak? Nah, I'll just snack on these seeds. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> go to a fucking restaurant this guy just pulls out a bag of seeds and shit like, alright man that's kind of weird you want a salad oh no I don't know where they wash their lettuce I don't know alright can't even eat lettuce take it in the bathroom <laughs> <sighs> Jesus my god man that's pretty bad oh yeah man that guy he, he doesn't even eat soy he doesn't eat wheat you know he's like gluten free everything and Free and vegan? Wow. Yeah, gluten free, vegan, everything, dude. Straight edge. And he, he it's funny because he was the exact opposite. This guy would eat fucking red meat all the time, smoke and drink, and then just did like a fucking one eighty. Man. Yeah. 
I, I could. I mean, the only way I could do that is if it was for you know obvious like health reasons or something. But fuck that, dude. Yeah, well, he had a he had a couple of health scares, so he caught you well. that, I understand someone doing it for that. That's that's fine, but um, yeah, I mean, any I, I I wouldn't. I mean, my dad had to go on a strict diet because of his diabetes, and I wouldn't eat half the shit he eats. But my dad won't eat vegetables, so it's a little different. But yeah, yeah, I I I I I luckily. Don't have to die yet, but when I'm I'm sure that day will come. Yeah, it's gonna come for all of us, man. Sooner well, or later. I've already been told my cholesterol is high, but Oh uh, dude, I was I had high cholesterol when I was born. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm I'm not worried about it yet. So fuck. All right, back to raw. God damn. Yeah. Um Yeah. Vince McMahon, thank you for this exciting show. We're talking about cholesterol, for God's sake. Fuck it, man. Anyway. Uh, God damn you, Vince. Bad news, Barrett and Cesaro. Now, Cesaro, or Tad Ravenaro, whatever you want to call him, because last night he was half Taz, half Raven. He had a towel over his head sitting in the corner of the ring. I like the towel gimmick, man. I'm uh, digging it. I think it's a total ripoff, but I don't. Well, but, I mean, what isn't a ripoff, though? Um, nothing. I mean, John Cena's original. He's pretty much a cornier version of Hulk Hogan. <laughs> you know? I was joking, man. I was just trying you know, to. I mean, honestly, I I don't. Did people uh, hate Hulk Hogan as much as people hate John Cena back then? I don't remember that. You know, I and and I do hear certain people say they did. But I don't know, dude. You got you got to remember it was a different time, a different people know more now than they did back then, you know really? about business and how it is a business, you know. But um, I don't know, man. I'm sure a lot of people didn't like Hogan. Just for I mean, people. yeah, we I mean we heard the booze and you know towards like '93 when he was leaving WWF and he was getting stale and all that stuff. But I mean, imagine in '92. Fucking 89, 88. If John Cena came out and he was doing this this cookie cutter bullshit even back then, I think he would even be corny for that time. Probably. He would even be too much for them, man. You'd just be like, alright, well this this is like this is pretty gay. Yeah, he probably would have been. Even back then. I mean he's just it's it's I don't know. But it was a different time, so I'm sure some film people definitely hated Hogan. And I'm, I'm, it was probably a lot more than uh, you. Pre, I mean, you couldn't even say that back then. You probably get your head taken off. Yeah, I'm sure uh, Brutus Beefcake loved him though. Yeah. Some. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the the things that Brutus Beefcake has done for Hulk Hogan? I I'd, I'd rather not. But, I'd rather not too, but just man. might explain Nob's ass. Yeah, that guy's he's probably laced his boots up every match. I don't know, man, but you see the pictures of him now with his big fucking pierced nipples and shit. Cool. I, I met this guy like a year ago, two years ago or whatever. Uh huh. I actually got a picture with him and like uh Greg Valentine and some other dude that just popped in the picture. I'm like, dude, I don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> this guy just popped up in the picture. I mean, clearly he was a wrestler because he was with him and he was a big guy. I'm like, I don't even know you, dude. Why? You know, I'm not paying you, clearly. But he just wanted to be in the picture. I didn't pay the guy. Just wanted to be in the picture. But, uh, yeah, man, Brutus Bifke, he just comes off like a dick. Hmm. That doesn't surprise me. No, I, him and Valentine, man, they both look miserable. I mean, I, you know, from personal experience, they weren't really a dick to me, but just... Just the way they carry themselves, their facial expression towards towards the fans, they just seem so miserable, you know. Yeah, it's like you're looking at your back at your at your life, and you just have all these regrets, and you just hate it. That's pretty much the vibe that I got. <laughs> so, there you go. Sorry, Brutus Beefcake. <laughs> Sorry. I know, I know, they buried you for, for 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 the Ultimate Warrior when you were supposed to get the Intercontinental Title. 
Don't give a shit, dude. You probably shouldn't have said that as soon as the guy died, you fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. Well, isn't isn't that really tasteless though? Like, dude, you had fucking like twenty years to to let this out of the closet, and you wait till the day the guy dies. Yeah. I mean, how bitter and I mean, this this really you know supports my argument that this guy is just bitter and pretty much just full of regrets. I mean, the, the, for you to be that bitter and be that big of a, a fucking dickhead to do that, I mean, you have to be bitter. You have to be jealous. You have to be a, a, a everything that I've, I claimed he is. In my opinion, not fact. In my opinion. In your opinion, that's right. Allegedly. Allegedly. That I love that word, man. That saves everything, right? <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Allegedly. Everything, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Um. So yeah. Uh, uh, um, Bad News Barrett squashed Cesaro. Yeah, unfortunately. I, I didn't... I mean, they just gave Cesaro this whole... This mic time, like he's a big thing, and, oh, maybe he's going to get a push, and then squash. It is kind of weird how they... Uh... They kind of let him go out there and, and somewhat shoot because he, he did say, like, this was supposed to be my year with the people in charge of the business you know, or whatever in the back don't don't believe in me. Like, he kind of did did shoot on, 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 on the WWE. So, yeah. like, I, I wonder if they're going to expand on this and, and let him do this as, like, a weekly thing. But then kind of him, him losing it and being squashed by this guy kind of just ruins the whole thing. So it's like, all right, well. I mean, but we got a big swing. I guess, but how many times have we got that and the guy got buried the next week? Um, it's like every other week. Oh, God, Shaheen, can you just be positive? Dude, I, I just, I really like Cesaro, and I just, I hate what they do with the guy, man. I know. Just, like, I honestly, I like Cesaro better than Daniel Bryan. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I well, like him more than most guys on that roster. I'm not saying he's, he's a better talker. I'm not saying any of that because Daniel Bryan's not even a good talker. Sorry, people. But you know, I don't know, man. I think Cesaro is just phenomenal in the ring. I think the guy is just pure talent. I think he's actually he has charisma. I mean, if they just let him go, I think I think he would get over. But you know, and and another problem that he has is that they've been pushing him as a fucking heel for like three years. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? Honestly, he's never turned face since he's been around. Huh. And that's what people want. They want him as a face. But they won't give him to us, and they're trying to push him as a heel, and it's not getting a reaction. Thus, him getting buried. I mean, it, it, you know, what do you expect? Yeah. I mean, uh, people don't want to boo him. That's why he's not getting a reaction. Exactly. They don't want to boo the guy. They just want to. Yeah. I mean, they, they want to cheer the guy. Let them fucking cheer who they want to cheer. When it's time to start booing them, you know, when the crowd will let you know. They will let you know because they'll start booing them. Of course, you know they don't hear the boos. I guess because I don't know. They just don't or don't give a fuck. But I don't know. I mean, how many how many times have we said? I mean, you know, the guy is super over going into the last year's mania. Wins the the annual or first annual uh, Andre the Giant thing. The next night he comes, you know, and that's a big push for him. The next night he comes out on Raw with Paul Heyman as a heel. And then he's not with Paul Heyman, but he's still a heel. Yeah. And out of nowhere. But then he comes out one night and and sticks up for Paul. And now he, what, what, what? Yeah. I mean, I, he's, he's right. putting people over it's too much. It's too much. They should have left him and pushed him to the moon after that fucking Andre the Giant trophy. Yeah, I, I agree with you, man. It was it was his time. Yeah, just try it. God damn it, WWE. Pick up your balls and start trying stuff again. That's all I ask. They are they are so stubborn. It's honestly ridiculous, man. They are so fucking stubborn. It's just, I just don't get it. 
just wish they would try different things every now and then. It won't hurt. No one's going to... I mean, what's the worst that could happen? What, your ratings fall for a week? They're falling anyway. Yeah. Like, uh, seriously. I mean, your ratings are falling anyway. Th this is probably the best time they've got right now to fucking pull the trigger and do some new stuff. Uh, seriously. Yeah, dude, try it. I mean, like I said, I mean, I, I give them credit for, for kind of, you know, bringing in all these new guys, but it's like, honestly, man, it, it all stems down to everything being scripted. You know, it's, it's, it's not that these guys don't have talent. It's, I don't even think, I mean, some of it is, is, is the storytelling and the storylines, but it really just boils down to these guys being, you know, having the scripted material that they have to memorize. And it just, it comes, it doesn't come off organically. It just comes off so fucking boring. You know, when you give, give guys like Roman Reigns, like, dude, this guy is so bad on the mic when you give him scripted material. Maybe try and just give him some some pinpoints. Hey, this is a you know make sure make sure you emphasize on this. You know, make sure you say this. Why does he have to go out there and have every single word fucking scripted? I got no clue, man. <laughs> I wish I could tell you. I just I don't get it, man. No, you know honestly, I, uh, since since we don't have too much to talk about tonight, let's talk about this for a second. If you don't mind, um, no. you know, I, a lot of people will question why do they need twenty six or twenty seven writers, right? That's that's the big question that nobody can figure out, mm -hmm. right? Because the product was better when there was less writers. Um, they need to save money, so less writers would make sense. Um, and you know, you don't need these fucking Hollywood writers that you're paying so much money to write this bullshit that, that we don't enjoy. Um, you can pay pay these retired wrestlers to come in and, and probably do a better job than these fucking guys, and you can pay them half the money. Save money, get better product. Makes sense. But this is a conspiracy theory that I have, right? Ready? Uh-huh. Ready, set, go. I think Vince McMahon... Now, Vince's life, you know, clearly, this guy's been through a lot, right? I'm yeah. not going to go ahead and explain his whole life. Uh, you know, you can watch a DVD on the guy. But he, he's he's been a, he's been through a lot in his life, from from abuse to you know growing up without any money and and all this stuff. So I think this guy has something to prove to himself, and he's already proved that. But this is indebted in his personality. This guy always just has to prove that he's you know this big fucking millionaire guy, and he wants to show off, you know, because he's never had it. So now that he has it, he wants to show off. And that tends to be the case with people that don't have it when they grow up and they make it. They try to show off. They try to make up for the time that they missed out, right? Mm -hmm. So, why does this guy have 26 writers? Bragging rights. Hey, I have 26 Hollywood writers working for my, you know, for my fucking television, weekly television, and all this bullshit. You know, that, honestly, I think that's the reason. It's just to feed his ego. I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's beneficial any other way. It just, yeah, I don't get it. Hmm. That's my take on it. I just think the guy is just feeding his own ego. He wants to have these Hollywood writers. That's why he has them. It's just it's just for bragging rights, man. I don't think it's because you know clearly everybody from from past wrestlers to people that are, that are working there now pretty much subliminally they say that the product is ass when it comes to storytelling and and, and the storylines that are given to these guys. I mean, look look what happened with the whole NXT thing. The whole roster was bitching that. Oh, these guys get better storylines than us because they're not handcuffed. What does that tell you? That these 26 writers aren't writing shit for these guys. There you go. So, that's my take on it. I just think it's to feed his own fucking ego. I think you might be right. I mean, the, the, it's definitely a possibility, but I mean, yeah. I mean, he's got all these fucking out-of-work goddamn soap opera writers. Yeah. Well, there's a reason they're out of work. Yeah. And and the whole total divas thing now now it all makes sense now. Did you see the commercial for the for the new season of Total Divas? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now now it all makes sense, right? The whole thing with the with the Bellas. Oh, well, I mean we had talked about how that was all the the uh producers idea, the Total Divas producers idea to have them do this little breakup thing. 
Right, but it came out that they didn't really want to. I don't know. Something came up that that you know they they dropped the idea or they didn't want to really focus on it as much as they did, and they uh, dropped it halfway or whatever happened. That's why they kind of just just reversed it and put them back together. But I mean, that's that's another thing, man. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, you you tuned out. I didn't hear any of that. What was that? No, I, I said I, I still don't know how the hell Nikki and Bree made up. There was no nothing. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, man. It's it's so weird to me that WWE just like they have to listen to E. They have to, you know, they have to do this. It's like, dude, if it doesn't make sense, who gives a shit what they want? Aren't you selling them the product? I don't know. Yeah, but well. I mean, they they bought your product, so you know it's their TV time you're dealing with. So you do what they say. That's Hollywood. I guess. Well, then you, you, they probably shouldn't put themselves in that in that uh, situation, in that predicament, because like, all right, you're basically letting them book not only not only the the show that's on their channel, but them booking that is affecting your other shows, and it's making them look like retarded people. So uh, I don't know. Man. I just not a big fan of it. Yeah. I seems uh, stupid. Oh. I love it. <laughs> yeah. It's really it, it's really hilarious. It's 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 almost as bad as Jersey Shore, so it's funny. I, I would rather watch the Jersey Shore marathon than watch uh anything to do with the Bellas. Are you tuned out? Oh wow, you tuned out a long time that time. Oh, dude, I love the Jersey Shore. I know. I, I bet you do, man. I'm telling you, I couldn't. I couldn't fucking help it, bro. Couldn't fucking help it, man. And Jim Could not fucking help it, dude. Tan laundry, Jim Tan laundry. Well, let's let's finish up raw, man, because we actually have a decent amount of news, I think, don't we? Ah, uh, who the fuck knows? Um. We have the whole global force and Kevin Nash thing that happened. And oh yeah, we, yeah, we got a few things. Not much, but a few things. Um, Luke Harper, Jack Swagger. That's just whatever, man. Okay. Um, I, mean, I, I like Harper, you know, but Swagger, I don't give a shit. That's, yeah, that's and he's even worse without Zeb there. I could care. I couldn't care less. Yeah. Um, it is weird how he just stole like Bray Wyatt's gimmick, though. <laughs> Slick Street just stole the whole thing. Who, Luke Harper? Yeah, like the the promo was in the same same you know. It was exact, but I don't know. But yeah. did Bray Wyatt said he was gonna set them set them free to spread his word? I don't know. Is that what he said? He, I thought he just said that he's setting them free. They're ready to be set free. I don't remember, but I thought it had something to do with spread his word, blah blah blah. So I don't know. Who knows? But you, you know one thing about uh, Luke Harper? You know how a lot of people say they like his uh, facial expressions and, and the way he looks and his, his eye contact and all that stuff? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Am I the only person that thinks, like, he almost looks like he's about to crack up every time he, like, does those, like, crazy-looking eye things? I don't know. He always looks like he's about to just burst, you know, any minute just, just start bursting out by laughing. Maybe. Check it out next time, man. Pay attention next time he does the crazy eyes. I he will. Looks like he's about to crack up. I will take it. I will definitely take a peek. Do that. Do that, good sir. But uh, what else, man? What else? Next match: uh, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins. Good match. He actually uh. You got a couple different spots in there, which surprised me. It wasn't the same old five moves. I mean, he did a couple cool spots. Yeah, I, I like this match. Um, I kind of figured they weren't going to have a winner in it. Uh, trying to keep them both very strong, obviously. So, but it was it was still a, it, it was decent. Big Show threw threw Roman over the he threw the shit out of him, dude. Yeah, I, I love that apron kick that he does. The apron like drop kick. Yeah, that is pretty good. I but, love that move, man. That's that's a dope ass move. Uh, Big Show threw him like a fucking rag doll, though, man. Oh, he did, dude. I thought, I love that, man. You know what? I'm gonna, you know, I've been shitting on the Big Show forever, 
Leave him as a heel, man. As much as I hate the guy, he still sucks as a heel, but he's much better than a face. Oh, yeah, he should Leave him as he is, man. Just leave him like this. Just let him be a douchebag that comes out there and just, you know, pisses people off. Mm-hmm. Much better than him coming out there and crying and trying to be a face and all this bullshit. Oh, yeah, much better. So I actually, I actually enjoyed that. Roman Reigns and Big Show... I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are not looking forward to this. I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but I, I don't mind it. it. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Some, some of these Rumble matches that seem to be, you know, uh, I guess they're going to be Rumble matches. I don't know. But it seems like that's what it's shaping out to be. Some of these are really just lackluster. It doesn't really feel like big-time matches. No, it doesn't. But, well... I mean, they're not doing much setup because they really don't want to right now. The holiday, there's not a lot of people home watching TV, so uh, yeah. give it a give it. Well, next week. They they still are though. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to Rusev and, and Ryback. I don't know if that's going to be at the Rumble. I'm guessing it is. I would, no, I'm looking forward to that. That'll be cool. Um, I guess Big Show and Reigns. That's you know whatever. Um, <laughs> Cena and Brock. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, dude. Are we going to get Usos and, and the Miz now and Miz again? Uh, you might even get the Ascension. Yeah, we'll get to them in a minute, too. But uh, I don't know, man. One one main thing that, that really is killing me is like the tag division because it seems like they just do the same tag match for months, like they'll do, you know, the Usos against the Wyatts for like three months straight, and they'll do the Usos against the Dust Brothers for three months straight. Remember when they were doing the the, the Dust Brothers against Rybacksel for like four months straight? Yep. Now we're gonna get the Miz Dow and Miz against the Usos for like the next five months. Yeah, it sucks. Which is why I think they should just put Tyson Kidd and Cesaro together. You know, it's good that they brought the Ascension up. Bring in, like, you know, the Lucha Dragons. Bring in some more fucking teams, dude. They need it. Yeah, they could bring up Lucha Dragons. That'd be fine. Why not? They're already on the fucking roster, basically. They're on the payroll. Lucha! Lucha! There you go, man. And, and, and I mean, you know, h half the team was already on the main roster, so it's not like, you know, the, it's not like the guy's not used to it. It's just, you know, pretty much just Kalisto. And that guy, he seems like he's really comfortable out there. So... I think he'll be fine. And yeah, like, Sin Cara has been up there before. And he actually has a lot of charisma. Callisto, because, you know, a lot of these luchas, they come out there and they, they do cool spots, but they never connect to the crowd. This guy, he actually, like, he can speak English, which helps, of huh. course. So I don't, I don't know, man. I, I like this guy's chances. I just hope they give him the proper push. Even if they bring him as, as a tag team, I just hope, you know, that eventually he breaks off and does something bigger and better because I do see Rey Mysterio in him. Uh, you know they can, they can definitely make money off of him if they're smart. Yeah, yeah, they probably can. Yeah, and I, I did, I did notice they both cut promos, which is good. Right. Is very good. They both, both speak up. So, yeah, and then we get. Uh, you want to go on? Sure. All right. Next we get Daniel Bryan's little. Uh, Little announcement. Yeah, and uh, it turned out to be a big announcement. I think um, we, we kind of got into this earlier that he teased a retirement and then announced he was gonna be in the Rumble. Yes, sir. Now Which, I said this in the chat room, but I think it would be awesome. This would be the best. I mean, honestly, let's face it. WWE does not give a shit about what what we think, right? They don't give a fuck, dude. Like, at all, at all. Not one single fuck is given by the WWE, you know, to, to what their consumer wants. Because, you know, they know regardless enough people are going to buy it and watch it. It's just out of habit. They don't have competition. They're going to give you what they want, and we're just going to be, eh, whatever, this sucks, but we'll watch it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I completely forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Where was I going with that box, man? Smoke weed every day. God damn you. <laughs> bitch. So what the hell were we talking about? What were we talking about? Uh, you were uh, talking about how Vince doesn't give a shit and um, 
Um, we were on the Daniel Bryan thing. I don't know where I was going. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I hate when that happens, man. Oh, God. That's going to irritate the hell out of me for the rest of the night. Oh, man. Don't even worry about it. You should just kept rolling with it. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Now I remember. Since they don't give a shit what we think, right? How right. amazing would it be if they just trolled the hell out of us? Because they like trolling us. I mean, this is pretty much known that they just like messing with us and pissing off the the smart fans and, and the ones that actually pay money to support these fucking idiots. But they like to piss us off, right? So, perfect right. thing. Perfect thing. This would be amazing. I, this would make me happy. I wouldn't even be mad at this. This would just be funny. It's worth it. Talk to me. Give Daniel Bryan number 30, right? Oh, boy. Have Rey Mysterio come out. Oh, boy. Fucking gold, dude. It's so good. It's so good. Oh boy, so good, man! It's so good. Just do it. It'd be so funny, man. Oh, that, that place would fucking riot, man! It would be so funny. It's worth it. Now, what you do is you have Batista come out at twenty-eight, then Mysterio, then Brian, and then and then what happens? Brian kicks all their asses. Oh, that wouldn't be funny though. I, I want, I want to, I want to see, I want to see the crowd get pissed off, man. That's funny. <laughs> that's, that's the only enjoyment I get, I get out of wrestling is seeing the, the smarks. Uh, <laughs> I want to see him pissed. Yeah, I love I love the cringe worthy moments that mm-hmm. piss off the smarks. It's great. What what an ass. Yeah, I love it, man. It's amazing. Yeah, I know you do. It's good stuff. Yeah. But I, uh, let's let's talk about this for one second, man. I mean, there's a lot of rumors going around that Cena is indeed going to win the title. Do you see this happening? Yeah. Oh fuck, dude, that is gonna be crazy. I'm. We're we're probably gonna end up doing a after Royal Rumble show. It's gonna be so crazy if this guy wins, dude. I don't think I'm gonna make it home. Like, there's probably gonna be a huge riot in the parking lot. I I don't know why you can't see it happening. Because it just doesn't. It's so stupid. Like it just. If, if honestly, if they give if they give Cena the title, right? What was the point of this whole thing? I don't know, man. But it's like nothing is gained. Nothing, nothing. Literally, nothing is gained. Okay, what was the point of the whole thing? What was the point of Survivor Series? As in what? As in the whole Ziggler match, everything, the authority being gone. They completely nullified that last night. Completely. Yeah, but that's I'm 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 talking about something that was 21 years in the making, dude. I'm talking about the streak. If they oh, they're not going to sacrifice that for no reason. If if they have Brock lose, that means that the streak was broken for no reason. That means that you know we didn't get a fucking proper uh, a champion for you know six months for no reason, and we're back at the same shit. I mean, if you have Brock hold on to the title for another month or two, which is not really much to ask for. You know, they've they've already been through the through the rough part of, of getting over, you know, for like what, six months now? You know, with having this guy and it's so weird that this guy only defended his title against one fucking guy. Guess who? Please. Take a wild guess. Cena. Of course. Of course. Fuck boy himself. Fuck boy himself. <laughs> I mean, think about that, man. I mean, that is that's a big, but that's a big slap to the face of the whole roster, isn't it? I mean, how can you how can Vince sit around and talk about this brass ring bullshit when you know essentially no one can can challenge for the title pretty much for half of the year or the whole year, really? I mean, it's like, yeah, well, Cena's gonna work with this guy for the next eight months, so everybody else is mid carders. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 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 kind of ridiculous. But I mean, if if they have Brock hold on to the title, it makes more sense because he he puts over a new guy on a on a bigger platform like WrestleMania. Because let's face it, if it happens at, at Royal Rumble, it's so stupid. He's not putting over anybody. He's giving it back to Cena. What's the point? That means that you basically gave the streak to Cena, which it's like, all right, like all right, I guess. I'm surprised they didn't in the first place, but, uh, yeah, but I mean, I I just I if 
if they're not 100% sure that Brock isn't going to be there after Mania, I can see him doing it. I can see him taking the title off of him. But why? Why not just have him drop the title at Mania? He's going to be at Mania. That's all that matters. Who the fuck cares if he's there the next night? Well, he I don't know. But, uh, it doesn't matter. He just puts over the guy and he leaves. That's fine. I, the only all right, the only way I can see, let's say they do take the title off of him. Okay. If they do take the title off of Brock, I could see Mania being Brock and Taker again, and Taker getting his win back. Uh, but that's stupid, though. I mean, like, I know first time. You know, and if the, I don't know, man, I just no, I, I don't see that happening. I'm just saying what I can see if they take the title off of him, I could see Taker coming back and and take and doing it one more time. Um, now, if 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 they if they take the title off of off of Brock, I'll tell you, what, it's it's probably going to be like you know Cena against Reigns for the title and Brock against Daniel Bryan. I'm not sure I want to see Daniel Bryan Brock. I just don't think I do. I'm I'm cool with that, man. I'd like that. I mean, who else? Who else would you want to see? Fucking Ryback. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, as much as I like him, you gotta be realistic, man. Ryback in the WrestleMania main event for the title? Come on, man. I mean. Well, I mean, they're gonna go with Reigns, so. Yeah, but that's their that. I mean, come on, man. You can't put Reigns on the same. I mean, I like Ryback more than Reigns, but you, you know, you have to be realistic. Reigns has has the fucking looks and. You know, he has family ties and all that shit. Ryback, is, and, you know, Reigns has never been fucking de-pushed and, and shat on for years. Ryback is devalued to the maximum. Well, and that is WWE's fault. Right. But, yeah, I, I am very curious to see what they do with Brian right now, though. How they're going to push him. What's going to... I'm very curious to see. Um... I think a lot of people are probably curious to see what they're going to do with him now. Is he going to go right back into that title scene? Are they going to shove him back down the card? Nah, he has to go to the title scene, dude. He's getting, he's still getting the biggest reactions, man. Oh, I, I, I agree, but I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely curious to see what they're going to do with him in the next few, next month here. It's weird how a lot of people doubt it that uh, he was still going to be over. It's like, you know, this guy got over organically. It's not like, you know, he was shoved down our throat. Exactly, and that's definitely going to be over. If anything, he's going to be over even more, you know? Yeah, that's a big part of it, the fact that he got over. I mean, shit. I mean, well, I don't know. I mean, even Zack Ryder gets a good pop when he goes out there. Yeah, but, you know, I'm talking about Daniel Bryan's pop. That's a whole different ballgame than, than your... Regular pop that you get from from Mitt Carter's, a a big yeah definitely a big difference. Yeah, I mean he's getting a different pop than the Usos. You know the Usos get a pop, but you know that doesn't mean they can main event WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, Brian is going to be back at the Rumble. Good, I'm glad finally. Um, and then we get uh, a match. Ascension, Miz, Miz Dow. Which I'd, I'd like to talk about because a lot of people shit on this. But before I talk about this, man, because I kind of, I'm, uh, it's, I've seen a pattern that I kind of just comment before you do, so why don't you go ahead and, and give me your thoughts on this before I go ahead and comment on it. Um, you want my thoughts on the Ascension or the match? Well, the match was shit. I mean, there wasn't really much, but I'm, uh, you know, the debut of the Ascension. I guess. Give you the ascension. Okay. Um, number one, take off the makeup. All of it. The red on the fucking forehead, the fake widow's peak, the little swirly over the eye, uh, under the eye. Take it. Take it off. Stop. Take the makeup off. It's ridiculous. It's unnecessary, in my opinion. Um, Otherwise, I, I mean, I, 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 I don't mind these guys just for the simple fact I like tag team wrestling. But 
they're not great. Um, the other guy, not Connor, the other guy just looks like a... He just doesn't look the part to me. It looks like uh, Christopher Daniels. It just doesn't look like a evil... It doesn't look like he fits the part. I know Bram used to be in that group, and I definitely could see him being much better than this guy. Bram is fucking awesome. That's one guy TNA has that I'm, I'm behind 100%. That guy, I don't know, man. There's something about him. I, I think that guy could be a great heel. Dude, TNA has taken so far two guys from WWE and put them way better. EC3, right. Bram. And you know what? I'm interested to see I'm interested to see what they're going to do with uh, Brodus, Tyrus. Awesome. We just we just lost like two viewers just because we started talking about TNA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, do people hate that much? TNA that much, really? <laughs> you and you start talking about Cena. God damn it. Maybe they just <laughs> talk about Cena, it'll start flooding. Well, they're all still in the chat room. Everyone's still in the chat room. So. Do you remember? Do you remember a couple shows ago when I said something about Ben Juan? Like half of our half of our listeners just tuned out. Are you there? Yeah, he cut out. Hello. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's very odd to me, man. I just I don't get some wrestling fans. Uh, I don't know, but um. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I just thought the Ascension, I, I think the makeup is just the worst thing in the world for those guys. I just don't like it at all. Take it off, every bit of it. Just let them come out there with the vests on. Yeah. Well, they, 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 they don't need little fucking squirrelies underneath their eyes and fake widow red fake red widow's peaks on their hair. Well, I'll go ahead and say this, man. First off, I, I like face paint. I just don't like their face paint. I think the face paint could work, but theirs is just so sloppy and it's just there's no rhythm to it. There's just nothing. It's just random fucking stripes and and you know the the eye of the hor of the Horus or whatever the fuck it's called uh, that the what's the guy's name Victor Victor and Connor I guess Victor is that was the other guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah Victor the, the one with the eye paint the eye of the Horus that could get something, I guess. I don't know, man. There's just, I don't know. It doesn't really speak to me. It doesn't say much, you know? I, I like face paint. Don't get me wrong. You know, I think they should have some kind of face paint, although it seems like almost every tag team in the WWE has face paint right now. Usos, the Dust Brothers, and now the Ascension. What other tag teams are there? Just Miz? So, I don't know. I mean, the face paint kind of set you apart back in the day. Now it's like all of them have face paint, so. Oh, I'm not really... Much of an outcast. It's like you know, face paint. But god damn, those little fucking gay swirls. God damn it, it's swirls. It, I don't. I don't remember that. They had like the, I don't know what that is underneath their left and right eye. One's got it on the left. One's got it on the right. Oh yeah, it's it's the eye of the horse. That's that's what I'm uh, saying. The eye of Horus? Horus? whatever it's called, the Egyptian uh devil or whatever. Oh, I thought yeah, that's, that's what it stands for. It's like you, you know the whole Illuminati thing, the Eye of the Horus or Eye of the whatever the fuck it is. I, I thought you said Eye of the Horus. No, Horus. I think that's what. Uh, I mean. Oh, I was getting excited. No, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, man. It's 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 supposed to represent like the devil, the Eye of you know Satan and fucking Lucifer and all this bullshit. Oh well, you know what? It looks it looks fucking gay. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know, man. They should, I just, first of all, the guys aren't too big, so it's kind of, like, weird to get them over as this, like, fucking, you know, badass dudes that just demolish anybody in their way because they just pretty much look like regular wrestlers. I mean. Yeah, I, I think Connor is fine. He's a bigger guy. But yeah, but the other dude is just fucking skinny as shit. He's small, dude. He's, exactly. He's not menacing looking at all. I mean, I, I've, I've, Met fucking guys in a bar that look more menacing than him. All right there you go, man. Kevin the Riddler, man. He's uh, co-signing me. It is the Eye of the Horse. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's yeah. that's like you know what the whole Illuminati thing is with the dollar bill, and it's you know the Eye of the Devil, and that's that's what they're going off of. You know, it's trendy. Everybody blames everything on the Illuminati. You know, 
So I guess WWE wants to take a stab at it and see if they can get that over. But I understand it. I think it could be cool. I don't. I don't mind the gimmick. I like the '80s corny fucking, you know, monster gimmick thing. I, I like that. But <laughs> and let me emphasize on the butt. Oh, there's a big butt here. Oh, there's a big butt. Big fat butt right here. <laughs> big Naomi butt. A big fat tattooed ass right here. I like big butts and I cannot lie. <laughs> Go ahead, man. God damn it. But yeah, man, these dudes, I don't know. They should keep some kind of face paint. Give them a different kind of face paint. Actually put some time into it. You know, let these guys design something cool or design something for them because clearly none of these fucking guys are artistic at all. They just like you know, slapped on a bunch of paint in the middle of their forehead and came out and, you know, I don't know, dude. It, and it also seemed like it was very just like, you know, amateur looking. It just, it, I don't know. It just seemed like they did it themselves and it was like the first time, you know, dealing with paint. Yeah. Maybe let the Usos help them out, for God's sake. I don't know. You know what? I, I wouldn't even probably care much for the eye, the stuff under the eyes, but the red, I hated the red. It literally annoyed the shit out of me. Yeah, well, it's bright ass red. I don't know, man. They should they should do something else, though. Big fucking red triangle right in the middle of their fucking head. Come on. Jeez. Like I told you, man, it's all symbols. Like the eye thing, the, the, the triangle is supposed to be the pyramid. It's all supposed to tie into the whole Lucifer thing. All right, you know what fucking symbols are? Oh, those guys are facts! <laughs> That's the symbols I see. Well, I'm just trying to explain what they actually are trying to get across subliminally, I guess. Oh, good, great. It's funny, actually. Here, I'll show you one thing. <laughs> I mean, you guys can't see it unless you're watching this live on YouTube. The Eye of Horus. Let me show you something real quick. I'll get on camera. Can you see this? You're not on camera yet. You see me? You're not on camera. Hey, there you are. I am on camera. Yeah, you are. It took a second. Can you see it? Oh, yes. I have the same symbol that he has under his eye right here. Yeah, but yours is better. Do you see it, though? Same yeah. exact shit. Wow, look at that. You're, you're, you're evil. Well, I mean, I was young when I tattooed it. But, uh, yeah, that's supposed to be like the, you know, the eye of whatever. And that's what they're trying to get across. Oh. Uh, Scary, scary, scary. Ooh, scary. Big badass guys. Ooh, oh, we're bad. <laughs> and you know, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and, and credit them. You know, I I don't want to steal their idea and not credit them. I was listening to uh, Don Tony and, and Kevin Castle, and they they actually brought up a really good point because they they said you know a uh, reason these guys aren't getting over is because of their fucking names. I never really thought about it, but it's true. Victor and Connor. <laughs> well, Connor has been Connor. He was Connor O'Brien. He was in the, in the NXT stuff. Who gives a fuck, man? I mean, <laughs> was he next? No, he was right. He was the year after Nexus. But Victor, I I, I think they were going for the guy in uh, the 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 evil vampire in Underworld. Yeah, but it's just cheesy names, man. Is Victor it's really cheesy? Connor's man. fine. I don't mind the Connor one, but Victor is a little. He does not look like a Victor. He looks like a fucking Ted. Yeah, but you want to dehumanize these guys. You want to make them look like fucking something different. You know, you don't want these guys to be your everyday guys that you've run into. Oh, hey Connor. You know, how's it going, pal? Eh. Maybe one should shave their head into a mohawk, and the other shave it where there isn't one. Oh wait, no, that's been done. Oh, what a rush! But. <laughs> Oh, my point exactly. What are their names, please? Hawk and Animal. There you go. Is it Connor and and fucking you know Joshua? No, WWE oh. can't have you know people with fun. <laughs> Joshua. Like honestly, that's basically what it is. Like Victor and Connor, it's like Joshua and David coming out, and you're supposed to be like, oh, hey, badass guys. What's wrong with David? Nothing, but it's it's a general name. It's not like something you wouldn't be scared. It's not like fucking you know. Axe and smash. Axe. What is an axe? It's a deadly weapon. You know? Scares you. Smash. What does that mean? Smash. Axe. Bang. Dead. Finished. Flatlined. Axe and smash wouldn't have scared me. I would have just said, hey, the village people are back. <laughs> hey, look at these gay dudes in the latex. Macho, macho man. 
<laughs> what do you think about it, man? The demolition did look really gay, didn't they? Dude, they were such a cheap knockoff of the Road Warriors. It wasn't even funny. I th- th- it angered me at how stupid they stupid it was. It was a blatant knockoff. Well, it was still different, though, man. I think I don't know. I think people really give them a hard. I mean, clearly, it was definitely influenced by the Road Warriors because you know Vince couldn't get them. Everybody knows the story. Even but, uh, if you watch that that documentary, and I, lo- I, I swear I love that documentary. I really do. It's a great one. If you watch it, the, even um, – what's his name? Billy he, he even admits that it was a, a, a ripoff. Yeah. No, I actually have a – I have that DVD, and, I, and they actually put out a new one where a demolition sit down with Animal, and they do like a face-off. And they, they discuss that, and they basically just said, yeah, we copied their shit, you know? Yeah, well, no shit. But I, I still thought it was different, though. They were like dominatrix type of gimmicks. <laughs> That's what it was. They were like gay dominatrix dudes that were just really aggressive. They were supposed to be gay. Well, they. I mean, you see two guys in like, you know, leather underwear with spikes on them, and they're walking around with masks and sticking their tongue out at each other. It's kind of gay. No? <sighs> Or then again, it was the 80s, so... Yeah, yeah I mean, you know... Uh, <laughs> I mean, who knew Liberace was gay? Yeah. Jeez! There you go, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I mean, you go. I mean, you know, it's like they say, at least Freddie Mercury gave you a hint. He was in a band called Queen, for God's sakes. There you go. I didn't even know he was gay. Uh, huh? I mean, I've never seen him. Like, I just know the songs. I mean, that's before my day, but... I hate to say, but a, a, a guy with a voice like that, you got to think something's up. That guy was... It was the 80s, dude. Uh, Fucking... 70s, too, but I will say right now, Freddie Mercury was the best front man ever for a band. The best. You know who I love that was way before my time? What band I actually love that was way before my time that you pro- you probably like them? Eagles. Oh, yeah, I love the Eagles. Fucking love the Eagles, man. I'm actually... a a, a, a bigger fan of Glenn Fry. I like I like his solo stuff too. Really? I never checked out his solo stuff, but I, f- I fucking love the Eagles, man. Oh, you've never heard the song Smuggler's Blues? I have not. I can't say I have. Heat is on from uh, uh, Beverly Hills Cop Two. Mm, I mean, I've seen the movie, but doesn't... then the whole beginning scene is Glenn Fry. The Heat is on. Yeah, maybe I'll check it out, man. Yeah. Glenn Fry was in um he was in Miami Vice for a while at the end. Never watched Miami Vice. Yeah, and I know Don Henley lives here. Dude, I, I there's you know the 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 you know the, the, the big shows that everybody's seen you know CSI and fucking ER and all that bullshit. I've like never seen any of those. I never saw ER. CSI. Uh, I, watched it. I refuse. And Miami Vice, all that stuff, man. I, I don't watch any of that. Hey, Miami Vice is awesome. You don't mess with the 80s shows, okay? I'll, like, Night Court. Never seen it, man. Fucking Night Court's awesome. I watch it fucking every weeknight. Never seen it. You know what? This is completely random, but since we're just off topic the whole fucking night, I'm just going to throw something out there. One of the most underrated shows that I fucking loved so much, and it really just lasted a couple months, and please, please, anybody out there that has any links to this show that I can watch on YouTube or... Because I can't... It's not on DVD. The Tom Green Show. Not the actual show where they had, like, you know, the little segments and, and little bits and pieces of, of comedy segments here and there. Not that show. The talk show that he had. Do you remember that? It was rare. It, was, it wasn't It was long. No, it got canceled in, like, a, like, two months or, I don't know, something. I'll, 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 I'll try to find them. Dude, if you can find that, anybody can find that, that, that's greatly appreciated. I've been trying to find that for the longest fucking time. I yeah. remember one episode, and this is probably why he went off television. This, this was fucking hilarious to me. <laughs> um, I think the producers or something, they pissed him off, and he just he refused to kind of just do the show, and it was live, you know? So what he did is basically he just took his logo, the Tom Green logo, and he copy and pasted it all over the whole screen. So for the whole show, the hour... You could you could hear the audio, and he actually had guests. I think it was like NSYNC or somebody, and you couldn't see any of the visuals. You couldn't see the guys, nothing. It was just Tom Green logos everywhere. 
and he just pissed off like all the producers and directors. Huh? Gould. Cool. That's amazing. Yeah, I I never really cared for Tom Green, but I didn't really either until his like uh, his talk show was much better than his like little segments because his segments were just kind of stupid. I never really got the humor, but uh, like his talk shows were were funny as hell because he was so awkward. I love I love like awkward humor. Like, you know, Curb Your Enthusiasm, shows like that. I, I just love awkward situations. I, I find it hilarious. So I just liked seeing, like, celebrities come on a show and just have them put them in really, really awkward situations and just have me laugh my ass off. So yeah, I found that hilarious. Yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm was a good one. I don't know. I've, I've always just liked the cop shows and shit like that. Like I said, The Shield is one of the best shows ever made. Never seen that either. I'm telling you, dude, you would love it. Dude, I, I don't I'm not even into like like action like flicks and shit. Not even that, it just it catches your attention from episode one through the whole I mean it's only seven seasons and you could tell it's it, it was made it was written fully before it was made. You can tell it's that well done. It's just amazing. I love it. I, I just think it's great. NYPD Blue is another favorite show of mine. I love that show. Yeah. And also, uh, like, I, I don't know, man. I tried to watch uh, Sons of Anarchy for the first time like, a couple nights ago. Just like, I can't I can't watch it. I haven't gotten to that one or Breaking Bad. You can watch it. Yeah, like Breaking Bad. I just, I'm sure they're great. I mean, everybody says they're like the best shows. I'm sure. But... I don't know, man. I have like a short attention span, just like anybody else in 2015. But I just, I don't know, man. You need to catch my attention in the first couple of minutes, right? I, I can't sit through shit and watch like, you know, I can't patiently wait for an hour to catch one good scene. I can't get invested like that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you're getting sleepy, man. Let's let's finish off raw over here, dude. I'm tired of this getting up early and going to work. Shit. I bet you are, man. It's fucking driving me nuts, and then I had a... Ooh. Just looking at another picture. Um, that's a... That's a... That's a great German suplex right there. Um, another one? Oh, you should see that one. Uh, oh, I see it now. All right. <laughs> well, I, I guess we should get into this final segment. All right. Um, Edge and Christian... As you all know, they were guest hosts last night. Uh, they did a Cutting Edge Peep Show segment, so they combined their two talk shows. Um, it was Seth Rollins, and uh, he had invited Cena and everybody, and um, basically what happened was uh, Edge and Christian through uh, you know they're, they're they were standing there and you know it was all talk about how you know they're next or this next or that blah blah and it obviously seems that if earlier in the night I forgot to mention this Lawler mentioned that uh, Christian is retired yeah they barely mentioned it so yeah it was just in passing um, isn't that kind of sad though it's like yeah, no. I was never really a huge Christian fan, but I mean, the guy's been around for a while. He's yeah, just been to good to the company. The least you can do is at least give him his own night. You know, I mean, basically, Edge pretty much stole the spotlight. Yeah, they still might. I don't know. We'll see what happens. They 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 still might. Maybe that's why they did this. But um, basically, what happens is uh, Big Show knocks out um, Christian after a little, you know. Stuff and they grab Edge, hold his head down on top of the briefcase. Uh, Big Show's holding him down. Seth Rollins has his foot on his neck, and they start calling for Cena. Cena finally comes out, and Seth Rollins, of course, basically holds Edge hostage until John Cena agrees to bring back the authority. And after a while, he does, and then it breaks out, you know, into a big fight. But um, like I, I think Seth Rollins was amazing in this segment. Honestly, I really do. Um, Seth Rollins was was just amazing, if if you ask me. He, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you liked him so much, man. I mean, I'm a big fan of the guy, but I, 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 I really thought he was just kind. Of
but this segment last night I thought kind of uh, was was like a breakout segment for him. I don't know, man. I, I thought he was great. He showed emotion. It if it was scripted, he made it sound not scripted. If I can say that, I guess that makes sense. Um. Yeah, he did. I mean, he made it sound like it wasn't scripted. He made it a great segment. I, I really enjoyed the last segment. I mean, it was corny, and I, I, I enjoyed the... I don't know. I didn't really ag agree with how quick they're bringing back the authority. I mean, one month, and that's... Yeah. What the hell was the point? I, ex that's what I mean. <laughs> Survivor Series. Nothing. I mean, aren't you kind of glad, though? I mean, I'd much rather have Triple H talk for 20 minutes than have, no offense to Rollins, but have this guy start out the show every every week for 20 minutes. Uh, if Rollins could do what he did last night in that final segment, I would love him talking for the first 20 minutes of the show. I, I actually thought he was pretty bad with Edge and Christian, man. I thought he was... I think that's why Edge uh, kind of went off the script and kind of told him he has no charisma. He I don't... looked like he was frustrated. A little bit, but you did see the. Uh, but you, you said you didn't see the whole final segment, right? No, I didn't. I, I missed. I missed it. Uh, my DVR stopped recording as soon as like John Cena pretty much came out. Thank God. And that's honestly when Seth Rollins started going off on him and screaming and yelling and. Okay, yeah. So maybe maybe I missed the I missed the climax. It was probably on the. I think the. I don't know. Probably the network, or YouTube. Probably YouTube. I, I got I got Hulu Plus now, unfortunately, so I can probably watch it on that. Let me see something here. Yeah, it's probably on YouTube, though. I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. But yeah, I mean, I, I you need to take a peek at it. Definitely. It Definitely need to take a peek at it. That was raw, man. I mean, everybody hated the ending. I can't really comment on it since I didn't see the last, like, five minutes. But, uh, obviously, Boxman liked it. Like I said, I like the end. You know what? Here. Let me see what I can do here. Let me see if I can find a... That's 11 minutes. I can cut to a couple little parts. Hold on. He, he's just... He's trying to do what we did, but... It'll be... Here, let me kind of get to where Rollins puts him down here. Give me one second. I'm fast-forwarding a little bit, and I'll just play a little cut of it. Kevin Kevin in the chat room said, uh, my, my DVR hates Cena, too. That is true. In fact, uh, my DVR is set to automatically stop recording the main event when it, when it comes to John Cena. So, Thank you to my DVR. Verizon Fios. Thumbs up. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. No, 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 no. Come on, John! Hey, wait a minute. We're on YouTube, aren't we? Yeah. Hold on a second here. Hold on. I think I can put this right through here. Oh, no, you just... Oh. Give me two what are you trying to do? I think I can play this right in here where you can see it. Do you see that load up in here? Yeah. Well, I just got to... Hold on one second. Oh, I don't know if you got to push to talk and everything, though. Oh, yeah, our mics are muted during video playback. All right. There's something we can play with another time. I'm, I'm not going to play it because it's going to slow down the computer. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Click Add Videos. This is pretty cool. We can play a video right in here. Yeah. there's. I mean, there's a lot of stuff we can do on here. Yeah. I'm sure there is. Is it about to play something? something it, it. There you go. You can watch this now. Nice. But, uh, what else, man? Let's talk about Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash real quick. Yeah, it's um. Your thoughts, please. It's looking more and more like he was um trying to stop his son from attacking. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I'll tell you what. Last night, I um I was watching Raw, obviously, 
and I got a um, – it was a commercial on for a WWE Raw reunion show. That's Raw how- reunion. Uh, it's like the old school Raw. Yeah. Yeah, but it's I, – I, I'm not sure if it's going to be a televised show or what, but it's going to be here, and they're advertising Nash, Hall, Shawn Michaels. So – Well, that's, that's old. They were actually they – were, they were trying to do an NWA re, uh, reunion, and it is going to be televised. It's a, it's a Raw. Oh, well, it's – they're advertising all three. I just saw this last night on my TV, so they're still advertising all three. Nash. Well, they definitely took Nash off, man. They they suspended him. They suspended his contract. Well, wouldn't that kind of? I don't know if they're going to announce when they're when it's not suspended, but they didn't fire him or anything. So I don't know, but it, it, it's looking more like he was trying to just stop his son from going crazy. Yeah, but even if he's not at fault, W. I mean, I'm saying WCW. WWE is so PC, man, that I just I don't think they're gonna want to touch that guy for a while. Probably gonna stay away from him. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, like I said, he was on the commercial last night, so yeah. I guess we'll see soon, man. Yeah. So it's gonna be around you. It's gonna be here in Dallas. Go check it out, man. What are you doing? I didn't get much information on it, but I'm hoping to get more. I was looking it up, and I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to find out where and when and see what, what I can do. But I think, I'm pretty sure it's in like three weeks, isn't it? Like two, three weeks? I think it's like the middle of the middle of next month, so I'll, I'll find it. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, if it's, if it's the old school Raw, which I guess they're, they're calling the Raw reunion, uh, should be good. Yeah, should be. I enjoyed last year's man, Ambrose and uh, Jake Roberts. That was that was awesome. What happened? Yeah, pretty badass. Yeah. What? No, I was saying oh. what happened. You tune out for a second. Came back. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty good. Just hearing Jake's music was awesome. Yeah. So. Wrestle Kingdom. Wrestle Kingdom Nine. Wrestle Kingdom 9. I'm guessing you're not going to be watching it live. <sighs> no. It's going to be on Sunday. Well, isn't it is it going to show is it All right, well let's let's get this straight for everybody. When is it airing live? Okay, here's what I was told. Or here's what I heard. Cold Check. sounds better. It sounds sounds more exclusive. Well, Sounds like, like Jeff Jarrett called you up and told you that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I was told. By I, Jeff Jarrett. Now I sound like Dave Meltzer. <laughs> here's what the scoop is. Um, check your cable listings. I did hear Verizon Fios was carrying it at, at a couple different times, but I heard AT&T was only showing it at, like, the regular slotted um, pay-per-view times, like, you know, the 8 o'clock Eastern hour. Right. Um. I guess you need to just check your uh, listings and see what's going on. But now, uh, do you do you know what time it's going to be airing live though? Is it, is it two a.m. in in Eastern time? That's I think that's what it was. I think that's what it would be. Let's see. They're thirteen hours ahead of us. So yeah, probably about then. Yeah. What? Like four o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a four-hour show, so yeah, oh, dude, that's that's reckless. God bless whoever's going to watch this uh, live. Uh, a lot of people will, but I'm sure a lot of people. Not, I mean, fuck, dude, it's a four-hour show. I don't know. I think a lot of people are going to watch it. I think it's definitely going to get a lot of talk. It's definitely going to be talked about a lot. I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, well, I mean, I'm definitely interested, and in, I'm going to check it out. I don't know when I'm going to have time, but um, I do want to check it out. I'm going to try to check it out before Tuesday, so we can talk about it. Yeah, that that uh forever uh forever hooligans against young bucks against Red Dragon against uh what the hell was their name? Damn, I forgot his name. The, who was the one guy in, in TNA? He wasn't a tag team with, uh, like, uh, Chris Saban. Oh, Alex Shelley. 
Alex Shelley, his uh, his team in, in New Japan. I forgot his name. I don't know. Like the, the time, time, something, time splitters. Time splitters. There you go. Yeah. I knew, I, knew, I knew time was right. Yeah. So that's that's going to be a four way. I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome. But uh, other than that, I'm not familiar with too many people on on the card. So I don't want to be like one of those guys that pretends like you know. Because I hate that, man. Don't you hate that when people like pretend like. They actually know what they're talking about, and you can clearly tell this guy has no fucking clue. You just told me to pretend Jeff Jarrett called me. Well, he did. come on, dude. We're 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 saying we're spitting facts. He did call you. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. Spitting facts, huh? Spitting facts at you, bitches. There you go, man. Hashtag spitting facts. Hashtag spitting facts at you, silly fucks. Bastards. Cocksuckers. Goddamn wrestling bastards. Wrestling bastards. Sons of bitches. <laughs> Alright, now we're just being mean. Alright, um... No, nah, we love you guys. We're just fucking around. You crazy wrestling fans, including ourselves. So, uh... Oh yeah, we finished Raw, didn't we? Thank I'm, God. I'm yes, kidding. we did. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm joking, man. Thank God. Um... Jesus. Trying to think of... Uh, let me jump into. Let me jump on Facebook because I posted a few things. Give me a second here. Anything on the vigilante stink? The vigilante stink. God, I hate that name. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of the worst names. That's terrible, man. Uh, I and I, I, I'm gonna say it. I can't stand fucking lunatic fringe either. Yeah, yeah, they're they're. Yeah, <laughs> or the or, or the architect of the of the shield and the demon cane or the corporate cane or the fucking oh yeah there's there's plenty of them big red yeah big red and god the game uh... oh the uh, WWE has a um self destruction of the shield DVD coming out I did see that. I think you posted that not too long ago. That's, well, that's pretty cool, man. I mean, I expect that com- to come out pretty soon. So this is so I could talk about it. Let's see here. It's got this is the whole uh, content listing of it. Um, I'm sure this would come from WWEDVDs.com or oh, Wrestling DVD News. Yeah, it does. Let's see. Anything good? Blah, 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 blah. The journey begins. Journey begins. Brothers in arms. Brothers in arms. Blah, blah, blah. Bring in the sword. Blah, blah. SummerSlam. The future is now. Hmm. What, what is the match listing? Let me find it real quick. That's what I was just about to say. Match listing is... I can go through the whole thing here. This is on disc one. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. FCW rivalry, 15-minute time limit for the FCW 15 championship. So, Ambrose and Rollins. Um, and then your next match is same thing. Yeah. 30 Who's Leaky? Who's who? Leaky? Is that is that the name? The uh, next match, Triple Threat? Leaky. I think that was... Um, I think that was Adam Rose. Oh, God. Or was that Damien Sandow? I think that might have been Damien Sandow. No, that was Adam Rose. No. It was one of them. Let me check this out. Yeah, why don't you find that out while I'm... I'll go through the second disc. All right. It's only a what? Two, it's a three-disc set, but there's a lot of matches on this second disc. you got Dean Ambrose and William Regal, uh, their little FCW rivalry. No, it was uh, Roman Reigns. Oh, there you go. So they had a three-way, actually. That's pretty cool. Oh, my God. This guy used to actually embrace his Samoan roots? Yeah. Holy shit. That's yeah. Cool. And, you know, I guess they yeah. with the Usos, they've got enough Samoan roots on the show. Rusev kind of looks like a badass back in the day, though. With the yeah. Head and fucking just... Rollick ass dude. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Next match is Seth Rollins versus Jinder Mahal. Oh. Oh yeah. Great match. Roman Reigns versus CJ Parker. Jesus. Do do, do these really need to be on this on this DVD set? 
Um, the Shield and Ryback versus Team Hell No, that's fine. Yeah, that's. I mean, those matches are fine. Put like the pay per view matches and the Raw matches, not fucking CJ Parker and Roman Reigns. Ambrose and Kofi for the uh, U.S. Championship. Yeah, those are all forgettable, man. They should have put like RVD and Ambrose. No, it just gets into some really. I mean, it, it just, it's all 2013, 2014 matches. There's a page two. Hold on. Next page. Oh, come on. I hate these touchpads. Man, still haven't finished a beer yet. Which match are you on? I could I could read the rest of them. I have it up here. I'm going to the second page. Um, Money in the Bank 2014. They're, these are all recent matches that that that. Okay, Blu-ray exclusives. Oh, Blu-ray exclusives are about the same thing. Roman Reigns and uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. Undertaker versus Dean Ambrose on SmackDown. Man, they didn't even have the the Extreme Rules match. I think that was on the first disc. No, it's the it's the back it's the payback one. Oh, you're right. Extreme Rules one. That one that one was the better one, I think. That one was the one uh, with the crazy balcony dive. Yeah, Money in the Bank ladder match. Are you sure? I could have swore I saw an Extreme Rules match on here. Are Might you... have been from the first Extreme Rules. Let me find out again. Let me look. Let me look. Survivor Series, Wyatt Family. Do, 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 do. Oh, so it's payback. Nope, you are correct, sir. I am always correct. Oh, Jesus. Fine. The fucking man, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, there's that. This uh, could turn out to be a good DVD, and I'll, I'll probably get it and watch the documentary. I more care about the documentary parts than the matches. I haven't watched many of the matches on um, any of these, to be honest. Yeah, this, this sounds very skippable. Yeah, I usually watch. Truthfully, if you wait for it to come out on Netflix... You get just a documentary anyway. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm the same way. It doesn't bother me one bit. Um, Man, Roman Reigns looks like a douche. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm glad they they took him out of those fucking those trunks. Man, he looks like a moron. Yeah, nice picture of Tessa Blanchard here. Tully's daughter. Hulk Hogan training Riff Raff to become a wrestler. Oh God, man! I this is I forgot to talk about this. I don't. God. I don't even know who this guy is, but he looks like. Um. Oh my God. Riff Raff is a self-proclaimed rapper. Um, I wouldn't say he raps or Hold does on. anything. Is that Seeky? No, he's worse than Seeky. Oh my God. This, I mean, this guy is garbage, dude. When I say, like, he's just making a mockery, and, it, and it's kind of getting over with people, so he's kind of getting famous, but it's it's essentially just him just fucking around and just being a douchebag. I mean, this guy has tattoos, the stupidest tattoos in the world that you can imagine. He's got the MTV logo tattooed on his neck. Well, that's right in the picture. Yeah, he's got the BET logo tattooed on his stomach. Oh. BET. Who watches BET? Uh, this white dude, he watches BET. He's white, isn't he? He is white. Okay, can I say first of all, when you do your beard like he does, uh, in like a a, a, a shape, like zigzags. Yeah. Um, you should be beaten. Um, when you're doing your eyebrows like your Vanilla Ice in the 1990, you should be beaten. Dude, please, please do some research on Riff Raff. I promise you it's, it's, it's worth it. If you want to piss yourself off and you want to just kind of shake your head at society, it's, it's, it's a good time. Dude, th this isn't going to go nowhere. You know that, right? I hope not, man. I mean, this, I hope it's not serious. <laughs> I see your... I know I can see your... your <laughs> I see your post. Oh, my God, stop this. <laughs> yeah, please, just stop it. 
Oh shit! You know what? I don't even want to talk about that anymore because that just looks ridiculous. Um, yeah, that guy's a moron, man. He he was he's an absolute moron, and he was like a he was like a um, reality TV star at first. So he's he's not even like all this is a gimmick. He's not really like this fucking weird Houston, you know, cough syrup sipping fucking rapper from Houston with gold teeth. It's not really him. Yeah. Oh, great. Nice. Anyway. So hopefully he'll get in the ring and he'll get his ass kicked. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but I don't think it'll go anywhere. Hogan's just trying to keep himself relevant, try to get a match at Mania. There's a picture of uh, Adam Rose, and he was like really like stocky. He was really built. I don't know what happened to him. That's when he was doing the um, Leo Kruger. Yeah, big dude. Look big. Now he looks like gay Jack Sparrow. But, yeah, uh, he just he sucks now, man. He looks like I don't know. Yeah, over the holidays, by the way, Randy Orton put out a really cool video of uh, a little kid RKOing him. Oh yeah, I saw that. That was great. Just you know what? I I, I don't care what you say. Just watching him do that made me smile. I, I like that a lot. How, that 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 was good. That's good shit, man. That was definitely good. Shit. Shows the guy is still human, even though he's he's outside. Smoking and flicking cigarettes at fans and shit. Yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, and I posted a cool video of a girl that was on NXT once, Aloisa. I don't know who remembers her. She was the she was like six foot five, the blonde girl who. Oh, I, I saw that post. Replaced with Caitlyn, she gives she gives large men piggyback rides. Did you notice she's taller than most of these large men? Yeah, she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty gross. She is gross. Huge. She's huge. She's a big girl. She's a good-looking girl, though. She's um. That's a huge bitch. Yeah, I I will say she's very nice. I've spoke to her on Twitter a few times. She's a uh, she loves Boston Terriers. It's the only dog she has. She has like eight of them. That's a huge nice bitch. <laughs> yeah, she is big, but um. What else do we got? Um, I, 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 I will say this about the Nash stuff. I hope it all works out for Nash. Um, I, I don't think he did anything wrong. If you, like I said, if you really start reading what what happened, right, right after they arrested Nash, the kid attacked the mother. The cops had to go back. Um, no, he's he, the kid is definitely. From what we read, yeah, the kid lost his shit, and I think, I really think Nash was just trying to protect his uh, his wife. So, anyway, I hope it all works out for him, and um, whatever. Let's just hope it all works out for him, I guess. Yes, sir. I don't know, man. I, 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 I was so busy, I didn't post that much news, and I don't think there was much news. But um, I mean, I mean it's. Slow time of the year. There's not really much going on. I mean, whatever made news made news. Kevin Nash, Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, says that CM Punk comes from fake wrestling and can't handle a punch. Does this guy realize he used to be a Power Ranger? Yeah, this coming from a guy who used to fight monsters in a suit. Exactly. Like, dude, it's it's fucking entertainment, man. People get it. It's fake. Like, you yeah. were in fake battles for, you know... Fucking Fox Kids, like it's it doesn't mean you didn't you know you're not you can't be a tough guy just because you were a Power Ranger. It's it's a gimmick, dude. It's a fucking it's for entertainment purposes. It's not reality. Yeah, I I I, I really, he's the uh, he's pulling a Hogan. This Jason David Frank, he's trying to keep himself relevant and get himself. He really is, dude. He really he comes off really like a douchebag. He just seems desperate. He's crying for attention. He's done this before. I mean, this isn't the first time he's done this. He's yeah. a punk a couple of times. Well, good luck. I don't think he's going to get anywhere with this, but uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck to him. If he gets it, he gets it. I, I mean, I don't know how much experience he has in the in uh, in MMA. I don't know his record or anything, but um... dude, he was a Power Ranger. <laughs> how can he not be? <laughs> According to him, man, since wrestling is fake, I mean, Power Rangers has to be—they have to be real, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. I sure, mean, they were badass. Yeah, they were. 
badass mofos. Yeah, one of the Teletubbies was uh was gay. Well, uh, right. One of he's doing gay porno now. Really? I think one of those guys is doing gay. God, jeez. What is wrong with the world, man? I mean, are people really dead desperate nowadays? Uh -huh. You would think they made good money from these shows? I uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to know. So. No, I don't either. Um, I don't either. But uh, I don't know. I'm checking out news while I'm looking here, seeing if there's anything worth talking about. It's a really young picture of Damian Sand now. Looks nothing like the guy. It's kind of crazy. Hey, uh, oh, you're not a UFC fan at all, are you? Not at all. Uh, this 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 fight this weekend though has me has me wanting to watch. Just Daniel uh, Daniel Cormier John Jones fight. Uh, I have no idea who they are. I stopped watching UFC in like '98 when it was uh, when they stopped doing like the gimmick matches. Eh, I want to. I definitely want to check this out. So I will. I will check it out. I'll check it out when uh, when Punk comes in, though, out of uh, curiosity. See, that's exactly what they're hoping for, is people checking it out out of curiosity. That's all they... If they get that for one or two fights out of Punk, as far as I'm concerned, their job is done. Yeah. I mean, I think he's going to win his fight, dude. I mean, this is a business, you know. They're going to put him against a guy that he's probably going to be able to beat because, you know, his him losing his first match really is just... Yeah, you know, no, no pun intended. Bad for business. Yeah, but then again, if he goes in there with someone who looks too bad, they're gonna. Oh well, this is a. Here's gonna happen. I don't. I, I, if Punk wins, you're gonna hear the fight was a setup. If he loses, everyone's gonna say, "I knew we'd get his ass kicked." Fucking can't go from wrestling to real fighting. So Punk is screwed either way right now, in my opinion. Uh, I mean. You know, thankfully for him, he has he has a tough skin. He doesn't really give a shit what people think, so that's good. No, and I I don't think it'll affect him either way. I just think it's shitty that no matter if he wins or loses, he's going to get shit one way or the other. It's either going to set up fix fight or oh, I knew he'd get his ass kicked. Um, truthfully, I kind of want to see. <sighs> Try not to say this in. I, you want to see him get his ass kicked? I do, but not for the reasons everybody else does. I, I just... Just I humble him? Yes, that's the real... I don't know, man. It's weird. I, I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't want to see him get you know hurt, beat bad, or get his ass kicked hard or anything, but... Definitely would like to see him get in there with someone. I mean, I don't know. I, I really believe Punk's going to be a tough guy to knock out. I, I think he, he, he can handle it. Well, I I, th I think he'll be able to go blow for blow pun or punch for punch, so we'll see. Just I don't rough him up. I, I kind of would like somebody to go in there and just beat the fuck out of him, just to I don't know. And then he comes in and wins his next fight, but who knows? I think I think he has to win, man. I don't even I don't know. I think he has to win the first one. Well, here's what's, I mean, if you lose two in a row, you're out of the UFC. You know that. Really? That's a rule. Two in a uh, two prelim. If you if you're not on the main event card, if you're not a champion or anything, and you lose two in a row in the prelims, bye bye. Eddie Bravo said that about a year ago. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, man. You're done. You. I mean, you, you you've got to win to advance. That's that's the UFC. Imagine if wrestling had that. You lose two matches, you're gone. Oh man, we would never see what like anybody, anybody other than like Cena and Reigns. You'd never, you'd never see Cesaro again. Ziggler. It'd be interesting. Yeah, it would be. It'd be good to see some of those guys gone. But uh, yeah, that's that's what I heard. If you lose two matches, prelim matches, you are cut from WWE from a uh, UFC. But, I mean, I, I guess they just try to... I mean, they want the most elite fighters they can get, so I kind of understand where they're coming from. Now, when Raw went off, you know, mm -hmm. I, I guess it's not really a spoiler alert because it's, it's not going to be televised, but 
Randy Orton's music hit, and he came out and he pretty much cleared the ring. He gave everybody R K R. Uh, I'm saying R A K O R K O. <laughs> what did What did you think about this, man? Are you excited for you know Randy Orton coming back at at the Rumble? I mean, is this is this really a surprise? A surprise, no. But if they let him come back in kind of the way he was when he left, I liked what he was doing when he left. That amped up. Fucking looks like he's coked out of his mind, Orton. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I was enjoying him probably the most I've ever enjoyed the guy in his career, but right before he left. But I just I just hate the fact that they always waste all these uh, surprises on guys that are really not really a surprise. Like, you know, Chris Jericho coming back. Like, dude, I just saw this guy two weeks ago. It's not a surprise. RVD coming back. Eh, I saw this guy three months ago. You know, Orton coming back, well, he was away for, what, four weeks? So, you know, it's not really a surprise. Yeah. I mean, there's still wrestlers out there that can still wrestle, dude. They don't have to go to the same five people. No, but, I mean, how many? I mean, this would not be the first time we've complained about that. Yeah. Well, probably won't be the last either, but, uh, I don't know, man. I just hope they, they do something different. I mean... I know he's not the biggest guy, but you know it's 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 Philly. ECW was known down there. You know, bring guys in like Sabu, Lance Storm. You know, get a small pop, but it's something different. You know, and those are just guys that I'm naming because they're still active. You know, but I'm sure there's other people. Can't do that. The 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 people will just say, oh, they're copying TNA. TNA just tried to do all this and it didn't work over there. So what makes WWE think it'll work over here? Way way way. Yeah. Man, fuck those people, man. They just any uh, everybody, everybody just <laughs> they claim they know everything, including us. Probably everybody probably just you know. Well, no, we, same thing about us, but at least we have a microphone, motherfucker. We have a microphone. What we say, we have a microphone, motherfucker. That's right, and we've said before this is all just our fucking opinion. If you don't like it, don't listen. There you go. Right. We don't mean that, by the way. We do mean it's our opinion, but listen. There you go. And and we do have microphones, which means everything we say is truthful. That is true. We're uh, spitting facts. Yes, I think uh, I think it was Opie from Opie and Anthony said that. Spitting facts? No. If you have a microphone, whatever oh. you say is true. Oh, I thought he was stealing my shit, I was going to say. No. I don't think so. Might have. We need, we need to go to war with uh, Opie and Anthony then. Oh, fuck no. Come on, dude. Steal my shit. No, I would never go to war with the pests. Stealing my shit, dude. Well, if they start saying spitting facts, son, I'm still, you know. We're going to war, dude. You have to go to war with little Jimmy Norton. It's fine. I'll go to war with anybody. Little Jimmy Norton. We are made men. Whoa, shit. We're going to die. We are made men. We are made men with a... Uh, you tell him, Hendry. There you go. We are made men with mediocre-sized dogs that podcast <laughs> about wrestling. <laughs> my dog is... Oh, my dog is on the pull-out couch behind me. There you go. And we, and we vaporize and drink while we podcast. I'm actually grinding up for a vape right now. There you go, man. I kind of gave up on my on my vape. It, 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 you're gonna have to get used to it, and like I said, check out the YouTube tips and tricks, man. Yeah, I I told the guy, man. I was like, dude, I don't care about the price. Give me the best fucking thing you got. This is what he gives me. I mean, yeah. I guess it's good. I mean, I read the reviews. Everybody loves it. I just I can't seem to figure out how I'm to sure work it. Something like mine. Yeah. I mean, mine was two hundred ninety bucks. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mine was expensive. What are, what are they called, man? Maybe, maybe, I need to, maybe I need to invest in one of those fucking things. Yeah, you could even like get one of the little ones I have, like the, the little wooden one, the Magic Flight. They're probably about 120 Yeah. About what you paid for that thing, right? Yeah, like I think I did 140 Damn. Something like that, 130, 140, something like that. Those things were like 30 bucks now. Nah, not the, not the newer ones. This is like the new G Pen. It's like the new, new one. 
Oh, it's just 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 go on YouTube, check out the tips and tricks. You'll you'll see what's going on. Yeah. Plus, well, they're they're all the same shit, man. They just you know different shapes and sizes. And there are tricks to all of them that you need to know, and I don't know anything about that one. Yeah. I yeah, I'll, I'll I'll have to figure something out. Yeah, sorry, man. I don't know about that one. Oh, it's all right, dude. I know about my expensive one. Oh, it's cool, man. We're just vaping over here while we're doing some podcasting, dude. Uh, vaping podcast, podcast and vape. Vaping and podcasting, dude. Yeah. Hey, bro, man. Vape pod, the podcast. Hey, man, we're just broadcasting, just broadcast. Broadcasting. I'm broadcasting everywhere, dude. Bro, broadcast. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm too high for this shit. Oh, dude, man. <laughs> what the fuck, I'm dude? I'm probably not high enough, actually. Oh, dude, man, you gotta get there, dude. The fuck, dude? Hey, man. What, well, bro? Cranking up the uh, vape. Come right. on, man. You gotta, you gotta jump on the wave, dude. You gotta get gnarly. I'm cranking up the packs, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. Yeah, pe- people are probably leaving right now, aren't they? <laughs> Like, oh, look at listen to these two fucking idiots. What the fuck is going on, man? <laughs> just imagine if you just like if you listen to this for the first time and that's that's when you tune in. You just hear these two fucking go, oh dude, man, you gotta pack it up, man. Oh, gnarly, man. Yeah, let's get on, dude. What are we listening to? It's an awesome podcast, man. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'll subscribe to this shit. Have this come to my feed, these two fucking idiots just <laughs> You really sound like fucking Spicoli, man. Oh, man, thank you, dude. I've only got one drop for Spicoli, though, and it's this one. Oh, those guys are fat! <laughs> wow. Not cool, dude. But we're, like, trying to be like hippies, dude. There's no plan B for the Earth, dude. This is totally Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Dude, we got to be, like, totally positive, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, no, like, just facts. It's like a totally positive podcast, dude. Oh, God. That's what we should do. We should do a totally positive podcast. No. No. It would be amazing. No, because all I do is I'll, I'll mention John Cena, and it will go from positive to negative right away. You're being negative right now. You can, On the positive podcast. What right. the fuck did I call it? What did I call it? How about we just do a positive segment on the, on the podcast? Well, if, if we do a positive podcast... You can't even say no on there. Everything has to be positive. You have to say yes to everything. Uh, right in the middle of the positive podcast. Positive, positively just cut out in the middle of your positive speech. Wow. Well, on the positive podcast, there's no such thing as no. Everything is positive, dude. Yes to everything. Oh, okay. It's like the negotiator. You can't say no. There you go, man. It's like the yes man. That, the yes man. <laughs> wow. We're going, we're going Jim Carrey. We are going Jim Carrey. <laughs> By the way, Truman Show, what a fucking awesome movie. Oh, righty then. You know, I actually did oh. like that movie. I don't care what anyone says. It was an awesome movie. It was actually ahead of its time, in my opinion, because it's basically what they're trying to go for now on television. Yeah. I think it was ahead of its time. I like It was on cable last month. I watched definitely, it. definitely was ahead of its time. The, the plot is... Kind of fucking crazy for its time. It, if you think about it, they were kind of telling the future. They were kind of telling the truth. They were probably doing that shit back then. Probably I mean, not, not, not to that you know extent, but you know. No. Not yeah. like they're watching literally everybody, but you know, I'm sure if you know you say a couple words here and there that that you know might 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 bring in that red mark to your name, they'll they'll probably start watching you. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm saying we should do the positive podcast, dude. We'll never have a red mark, man. We'll always be positive and green. Fucking red mark me. I don't care. Well, my name is Shaheen, so don't red mark me, sir. Right. Go ahead and red mark me. I don't give a fuck. Last thing I need. I don't give a fuck. Oh, wait, wait till they trace your roots down. Shit, I've got roots? I didn't know that. Oh, dude, man. We're all trees. Oh, well, as long as they don't take my fucking weed, I'm cool. 
Oh, don't take his trees away, dude. You can take away his roots, but don't take away his tree. Don't take my herb. There you go, man. Yeah. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. Positive on this motherfucker. Spitting them facts, son. <coughs> Hell yeah. Anything else you want to talk about, man? It seems like we're kind of... I don't know. I was looking in the chat room. running out of shit to say. Look into the chat room and see if they had any more titties. Oh, well, that's nice. No more, no more titties on there. I can't see any more. I'm a little upset, but uh, we're okay. The wonderful folks in the chat room. Any, any topics you guys would like us to talk about? Any questions or anything before we wrap this up? Nice and titties and the titties and bears. I think I how many titties and bears. What the hell just happened? Titties and beer. Titties and beer. <laughs> That's a comedian from Texas. Rodney Carrington. Yeah. All right. Chat room's... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Tommy posted this one. I'm kind of nervous. What is it? Is it... Oh. Page and... Tuned out, dude. It's a picture of Paige and Renee Young. It's uh Yeah, I'm looking at I like Paige, man. She's growing on me. I like oh yeah. Is she? Yeah, she's growing on me, man. Yeah, tell me all about it. I wish my baby was growing inside of her. Ooh. Damn, she needs all about this baby talk. Yeah, man, I'm trying to impregnate one of these divas, man. <laughs> Come on, dude, let's make this happen. One of you divas, man. Let me let me uh, let me pipe you down and you know give you a baby, so or you give me a baby. So is every other song man out there. Well, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to think you know the song man and I are kind of different, <laughs> different universes. Not even leagues. We're just you. that guy, man. God damn. He, can we can we can we have like a podcast where uh, the song man is the host? We should we should like. Do one of those, uh, what are they called? Starter kits? What are they called? Fucking. Kickstarter? Kickstarter, yeah. Just start a Kickstarter, man. Just just pay this guy what he needs every month. Do like a daily podcast. That would complete my life. No. I would love, dude. I need this guy to do a daily podcast. And, and I, I need him to run down his top 600 favorite uh, actresses and female wrestlers on a, on a, on a daily basis. <laughs> Just go on his Facebook page. There's pictures of every one of them. Well, I, I need I need daily rankings because you know they probably change every day depending on what he watched. So I, I need I need the updated version. Oh, you can't do this to me. I need it. No, you can't. Song man is the fucking man. No, no, you can't do this to me. He's I, no. great, man. Uh, that guy is gold, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I do agree he's radio gold, but I I I we're all, all will have songs like you you are Shaheen and I don't know why you're so mean. Yeah, I mean I I I'd prefer if he didn't make any songs for me. I just I don't even want to have anything to do with the guy. I don't want him calling me or the show. I just want him to do his own podcast so I can listen to it. Oh. Yeah, um, I don't I don't I don't want him to come on here. I just no, I definitely don't want that at all. I just want him to do his own thing and just listen to it on my uh, on my own time. Yeah, do your own funky thing. Do my own funky thing, man. Gucci man is back, man. Goddamn Gucci man with my gold teeth and shit, man. Sipping on that syrup with them goddamn gold chains around my goddamn neck, man. Isn't it scissor? Sipping on that scissor, man. You already know what it is, man. How the fuck they drink that shit? I don't know. I don't know. I I, I kind of I want to try it though. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not, dude? It's not like it's crack. It's just fucking cough syrup. <laughs> it's not crack. Yeah, I mean it's just cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not crack. I mean, I I I tried uh, like I I don't know. What you guys did, man. Back back when we were teenagers, like when we, not even teen. Oh, I guess we were teenagers, yeah. Like 15, 16. Uh, cheapest way to get fucked up was basically Robitussin. So that was 
what people did in my high school. They chucked Robitussin. So. It's a cheaper way. It's called Mad Dog. There you go. Well, yeah, I mean, that's liquor, though, isn't it? It's wine. Yeah. Kind no, but that, that Robitussin, dude, that shit, like, really, really fucks you up. Well, yeah, it'll also fuck up your system. Yeah, it, like, fucking killed my stomach for years. Put you to sleep. Yeah, it did several... Actually, it does not put you to sleep. It does the opposite. Well, too unless, much. Unless you mean sleep by death. Well, it could do that. Yeah. Shit with codeine, you're gone. I mean, yeah, I mean, Robitussin's kind of similar to the, you know, promethazine codeine. I mean, it's different. I guess, you know, codeine is a little bit stronger, but... Yeah, man, fucking Robitussin kills your stomach, though, dude. That shit is, like, terrible. And yeah. you, just, you can't fall asleep on it, and you kind of just daydream. It's really weird. Like, you can't move, necessarily, and you'll sit there for hours with your eyes closed, but you're not asleep. But you're daydreaming. It's almost like, I don't know, it's weird to explain. No, I got it. You're like asleep, but you're not. Yeah, it's it's, it's like weird. It's okay. not like you're hallucinating. It's kind of like I don't know. It's weird. I got you. Yeah. I got you. There you go, man. You guys have got everything tonight. We got we got we got <laughs> asshole tattoos. We got drug talk. We got weed talk. We got music talk. We talked about the Eagles. We talked some wrestling. We talked about the guy. What do we? What else did we talk about? We talked about Black Ice. What else do you want? talked about Riff Raff. We talked about Riff Raff. We talked about more more importantly than and we talked about Gucci Mane. We talked about Gucci Mane. Fucking, fucking Gucci Mane, man. What else do you want from us? Huh? Talking talking wrestling, we're talking Gucci Mane. What more do you want? Blood? Shit. Shit, man. We talking about that. Gucci Mane. Anyway. I think it's time to get out of here. You think it's time? I I think it's time. We've uh yeah, I think we've hit the rock bottom with uh with the Gucci Man talk. You think this this is when we've hit rock bottom? <laughs> when yeah. when Gucci Man and Riff Raff are the topic of the night. I think that's when the wrestling podcast kind of hit the rock bottom. All right. You say so, man. I mean, if you, if you guys want a whole podcast dedicated to the Gucci Man, Get more power to you, but just Shaheen talking like Gucci. Man. So just, I'll, I'll be the Gucci man for a night. Do it all. Like, oh, god damn! <laughs> all right, man, a Gucci man be back sometime soon, man. You know how we do it in the dirty south, man. Sipping on that syrup and good shit, man. Smoking on that good stuff. Eating them chicken wings and shit on the corner store, man. We hanging out in New Orleans. We doing a big player. We out here. And we'll be back next week probably with a hot tag motherfucking podcast. Your boy Gucci Man will probably be back next week again. Tazo the Greek will probably hate me. <laughs> I bring the Gucci Gucci Man every week. Tazo will probably send in, uh, you know, all that good shit and, and, and all the racist stuff. But hey, what it is, Gucci Man, man. Gucci Man was wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Just wrong. Hey, that, that's him. That's, that's the fucking guy. What do you expect from me? That's how he talks. Type in Gucci, man. That's, that's how the guy talks, man. I don't understand a fucking word the guy says. And he's got an ice cream cone on his face, so that's awesome. People who see... Great. Yeah. Go ahead, Kevin. Just egg him on. Egg him on. Yeah, keep doing it. Go uh, ahead. Gucci, man, man. What, what, what do you want? Gucci, man, is, is the hottest thing out, bro. Tune time. Yeah. Thank you. We're, oh. we're setting trends, dude. Last week was the Bro Bro Tag podcast, and now we got the Gucci Man podcast. <laughs> we got the Positive podcast coming soon. Before you know it, this is going to be a network. We're going to have the Gucci Man podcast. We're going to have a Song Man podcast. We're going to have a Positive podcast. We're going to have the Hot Tag podcast, and we're probably going to have some other weird shit going on. We're on a mission from God. We are. <laughs> we are. Right to hit that one at that time. <laughs> and we're going to save the world from the Gucci Mane. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, all time tonight, we talked about Big Show. I never got to hit you. He was crying like a pussy. Aw, oh, he was crying like a pussy. I even recut it so we have the whole word a pussy now. Hey, right, man, a big fucker, man. Big Show, man. He was crying like a pussy, man. Big Gucci Mane, man. He knocked the fuck out, man. 
Big Gucci man, man. He can't Crying like Gucci a pussy. Man. Crying like a pussy, man. <laughs> Crying like a pussy, man. He don't, he, don't, he don't want this work, man. This Gucci man, man, from down south down here doing a dirty, man. Big show with a big ass pussy. He don't want no work with me, man. Shut up! <laughs> All right, man. You got big man Gucci man on here, man. You better appreciate that shit, bro. That's like $10,000 a minute right here, man. This is an exclusive interview with the Gucci man on the Hot Tag Podcast. Gucci man. Burr. Alrighty then. Alrighty then too, man. Uh, y'all better have my money, man. I want my money. Ten ten thousand dollars a minute, man. I've been here for long now. Yeah, hey, man. <laughs> man, you know what, man? I'm I, I'm I'm done, man. These motherfuckers don't appreciate Gucci, man, man. See what you did, man? I did it, no bell. You see, you fucking asshole, man. We had our we had a great guest, Gucci man himself, and you you kicked him out. Son of a bitch. I no, I was I I, I was talking. Dude. What the fuck? This guy is the next fucking Tupac. That Gucci man live on here, and Boxman had to offend the Gucci man. You guys are from. T- Come on, dude. You guys are from down south. You guys are supposed to connect. No, I God won't. You got you got three testicles and a cone on your face, oh, dude. Well, he he left already. I mean, don't you know? Fucking testy cones. Fuck. You got balls on your face, bitch. He does. He has ice cream balls on his face. You got balls on your face. You got hairy, hairy shriveled up balls on your face. What? What, <laughs> what is like the purpose behind three ice cream balls on your? Like I just, I don't know, man. Just, just to be crazy, like just to be absurd and just out there and just say, yeah, I could do this because I'm a millionaire off. Screaming Gucci Man on a song a thousand times. He just I don't get it. He just loves ice cream. He does, I guess. <laughs> he he just, he just loves fucking ice cream. I think he has a song called uh, Ice Cream Man. Oh, I think that's well. Then obviously you have to get that. I mean, you, obviously you have to get that tattooed on your face if you have. Boxman, you see what you did, man. What? As soon as Gucci Man was exiting the building, you had him so pissed off that he, he committed a murder on the way out. He's in prison now, according to Kevin the Riddler, and he's filing complaints about getting raped. You just ruined this man's life. I'm done, sir. You just fucked up the Gucci Man's career. Well, how do you feel about that? I've done my duty to this community. <laughs> I actually would agree with that if this was true. Um, that's good. That's good. I feel, I feel very good about what I've done. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you killed a couple people. Oh, well, and, uh, the No, like, literally, not even joke. I'm actually pretty sure he actually did kill people. Really? Yeah, and got away. Yeah, yeah. He, actually, hold on. I'm pretty sure the guy killed a couple people and got away with it, and that's why he got famous. Well, I mean, that's kind of how Snoop Dogg got famous. Well, Snoop Dogg was kind of famous prior to his that murder case. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Gucci man did murder somebody. Oh. There you go. All thing. right, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a murder on the podcast. Awesome. Let me tell you something. If if you got an ice cream cone tattooed on your face, you're probably gonna have to kill somebody eventually. Uh, yeah, you probably killed a couple people already if you have a fucking well, on your face. Someone is going to make fun of you <laughs> eventually. It's going to happen. Not, not when your name is Gucci, man. Um, Dude, his name is Gucci. Who? Nobody in their right mind calls themselves Gucci and then spells their name Man, like M A N E. That just that spells crazy. <laughs> well, actually, it spells. It just says, "Don't fuck with me." I have an AK-47 in my trunk. Don't fuck with me. My name is Gucci Man. Right, Don't close to me. I have an ice cream cone on my face, tattooed permanently. For God's sake. Yeah, you see these balls on my face, bitch. There you go, man. Yeah, that's a wild dude. That's a wild dude. Damn. So he's in jail. Well, is he? Okay, I guess he is. Yeah. That's good. Who gives a shit, man? Fuck that guy. That's where he should be. Man, fuck that guy. Probably killed a bunch of people. 
well, he's probably someone's probably fucking him. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they would want to after you see that what he looks like, but yeah, I guess. With the power, more power to them. With a nice Hello Kitty type fucking ice cream cone on your face, somebody's fucking you in jail. <laughs> Probably, man. That dude is, he's, there's something off with him. Yeah, probably. God damn, I gotta stand up. So what is this, like four hours of Gucci Man talk tonight? Hey, man, you started this shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you brought up Gucci Man. Did I? No. I, yeah, you did. You brought him up because uh, the the ice cream tattoo. Well, someone post. Uh, uh, God damn it, it's the chat room's fault. All right, well, shit, man. Take one for the team, bro. Uh, God damn it. Come on, bro. Story of my life. Take one for the team. God damn it. Yeah. Great, I will. Anyway. Now, if, if, you know, before we get out of here, let me let me go ahead and, if you guys want some entertainment along the, the lines of Gucci Man, if, if you want some just, just fuckery and some ignorant entertainment, search on YouTube The War in Chirac. Chirac as in Chi Town and Iraq mixed together, spelling Chirac. C H I R A Q. Search that. They, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar, but you know, Chicago is like fucking. It's like a war zone right now. What is that that you're telling them? What is that? What is that? It's a channel that pretty much doesn't make fun of, but uh, well, let's put it this way: Chicago is is. Has a big uh, like like rap community, I guess, like growing up now, and all these guys are just fucking like murderers. They're not even like regular rappers. These guys just like kill people every day, and it's this guy that just like he pretty much just takes all the news and all their different problems and stuff and just kind of makes fun of it every day and just makes a mockery out of it. I know it's not like the funniest thing to kind of make a mockery out of these guys just killing each other, but man, the fuckery that's going on. These these guys probably just deserve to kind of shoot it out with each other. But, Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they found the one guy with a fucking bazooka, man. They found a 14-year-old kid with a fucking bazooka in Chicago. Holy shit. A rocket launcher, and he's like a rapper. Why do you have a rocket launcher, dude? I don't think we're going to space. Uh, I... Where the fuck do you get a rocket launcher? I don't know, but I thought the only time you need a rocket launcher is if, like, Mars is attacking us and you need to fucking war it out with the Martians. Other than that, I don't really see a reason to need a rocket launcher to take out a couple blocks. I mean, I could find a reason to use it, but... Yeah, to take out, like, half of, like, Chirac. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, take out Gucci Man and his whole block in jail, probably. Yeah, well... I don't know. I uh, he uh, maybe. Uh, but but, but wh where in the fuck do you get a rocket launcher? You get it in Chicago, apparently, man. God damn. You yeah. Jersey. You <laughs> used to be Jersey. That was Chicago. No, man. Chicago was. I mean, I had no idea. I was so fascinated by. It. I just started, you know, YouTube and random, just like Chicago shit, and it's it's fucking crazy up there, dude. This just like. You know, in other cities, it's usually, like, the grown people committing crimes. In Chicago, it's, like, 12-year-olds that are just, like, going on, on rampage, just, like, murder sprees, just killing everybody. Yeah, I'm staying the fuck away. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm never going to fuck that place. And I'm, I'm in Philly, so, you know. I mean, I live in a nice neighborhood. I live in the suburbs, but, you know, I still go to Philly, and I lived in Philly, so I know, like, what the shit is. But, man, Chicago just seems like a whole different ballgame. Yeah. Definitely does. And worse comes to worse. Ah, shit, I, I I was born in Iran. You know, I mean that's you know, fucking war zone city. So if I'm if that's coming out of my mouth and I'm saying Chirac is terrible, eh, Chicago probably needs to. Uh, did you know it's the most isolated city? They should probably just make it its own country. What do you think about that? Chicago as a country. You there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. I lost you at they should just make it its own. Well, it's it's the most isolated city, so I think they should just, you know, kind of just like make it make it its own country, you know? Call it Chirac. Just just There you go. Fucking 
war infested city or country, I should say, if they if they decide there to make you go. It. So there you <clears> go. <throat> Instead of sending everybody like to what is that? What is that? Uh, fucking jail island, uh, Guantanamo Bay or whatever. It's, what are it? Send them to Chirac. Yeah. Send them to Chirac. There you go. I like it. Yep. So, there you go. Now we've literally talked about everything. We've talked about Chicago as well, so there you go, folks. Yeah. I think it's probably time to uh, go before we start talking about uh, puppies or something. Yeah, probably. I mean, well, it depends what kind of puppies you want to talk about. Well, we've already talked enough about those puppies. Like tits or dogs? Both, probably. <laughs> uh, we kind of talked about both. Mm-hmm. Well, we, before we leave here, I'm going to go ahead and put you on the spot and ask you a question before we get out of here. Oh, I hate since, since it's the end of the year, favorite match of the year. Mm. Mm. You can you can name a couple. Like You don't have to just say one. But. <sighs> it's probably that... I would say two. Okay. okay. Shield, Shield and, a, and a, an Evolution little match there was really good. I like that one. And um, and the uh, I liked that. I really liked the uh, that Daniel Bryan at Mania match where he took out all three of uh, Evolution. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed them all that you, that you mentioned. Uh, I definitely would say that. Uh, extreme, extreme rules. Probably a uh, shield and evolution. That was probably one of my favorite ones up there. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and name a couple that was good this year, I guess. I actually, I liked. Uh, do you remember the Daniel Bryan and Bray Wyatt match? That was pretty good. Vaguely, but I do remember. It was that was that one was really good. Um, Wyatt against the Shield. I believe that was at Elimination Chamber. That was a really good match. Um, another one, Hell in a Cell, more recently. Seth Rollins and uh, Ambrose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Sheamus and Cesaro, a couple, couple months ago. That was an awesome match. Hmm. Um, what else? We had Brian and Cena, SummerSlam. Was that this year or last year? That was last year, right? I think that was last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was last year. That was a great match, though. I'll... Yeah. Well, that's about it. I named a couple. Those. I mean, we got some decent matches this year, I guess. Yeah, that's right. This is this is our last show of the year. Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and get our plugs in and get the hell out of here, I guess, right? Sounds like a plan to me, unless you got anything else. No, man, we're about to go on damn near four hours. Jesus. Oh, yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, man. Jeez, people are going to read the time, and they're going to be like, oh, fuck these dudes. <laughs> uh, all right. Our plugs. You can join us on the website, hottag.weebly.com. You can join us on Facebook. Please go ahead and do that. Greatly appreciate it. See, this is why we have to get the plugs out. See, as soon as we get the plugs, the viewers go down. You sons of bitches. You motherfuckers. Uh, they know where to go. Oh, you motherfuckers. Oh, they listen live. They know where to go. Oh, you bastards. All right, facebook.com slash groups slash THD podcast. You can go ahead and join us on iTunes, which is one of the probably more convenient ways to subscribe and get the downloads. Or the streams, whatever, feed, whatever you want to call it. THT Wrestling Podcast. You can join us on YouTube, THT Wrestling Podcast, Hot Tag Podcast, Turnbuckle Corner, whatever you type in, it'll pop up. We're all over YouTube. We're taking over this bitch. Uh, what else do we have? We have Stitcher. What's the Stitcher? I kept it the exact same as the um, iTunes, THT Wrestling Podcast. I thought that'd be easy for the two uh, download. Awesome. So there you go. We are now on Stitcher. We yep. are now on Stitcher, I repeat. So go ahead and subscribe on that if that's easier for you. I know a lot of Android users, they use Stitcher since they can't get iTunes. So there you go, man. We're trying to be uh, trying to be good people, man. You know, we're trying to... We're trying good. To, and we still got... Feel the demand, you know? We're trying to give it to you every way possible. 
Yeah, and we still have the easy, simple listen live page where uh, if we're live, if we got something going on, you will hear it. Just go to our webpage. Um, I think they said we had a couple problems with that today, but um, seems like it's fixed because I only got one complaint. I restarted the stream and everything was fine from there. There you go, man. See, see, pe people are loving Gucci Man, man. We're still getting Gucci Man comments. God damn these dumb motherfuckers. That Gucci you Man is a fucking man. Oh, I'm sorry, the Mang. He's the Mang. The fucking Mang. He's the main. The main. Yeah. Well, whatever, man. How do you spell main? Is it, is it M A N E or is it M A Y N E or main? No. What? Uh, a horse. Add, add, add that to the dictionary. That's that's a, that's an essential. Well, like um. Like a horse mane? Like a horse's mane? Well, I mean, I guess you could spell it the same way, but uh, it's a southern way of saying man. So, Gucci mane. Well, if you spelled like a horse mane, it, it is M-A-N-E. It's spelled the same way. Well, there you go. There it is. So, maybe he's a Gucci horse mane. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's into horses. Who knows? Maybe he's getting, he's getting banged by horses in prison right now, for all we know. Who knows? No, I, shit. I love horses, but you just took it to a new level. Well, I don't personally like him like that, but he might. It's Gucci, man. He tattooed a fucking ice cream cone on his face, so. I used to do the horse jumping. I, I used to jump ride horses. Yeah, I'm sure you did, but you don't have a, a tattoo no. on your face that consists of a couple cones of ice cream, so. Anybody with, with ice cream cones on their face tattooed permanently, I don't doubt that you bang uh, horses on your spare time. So, Three testicles and a cone. There you go. So that, that is very odd. But yeah, anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, whatever other holidays out there that I don't know of. Sorry, Buddhist people and monks and every, everybody else. Uh, I'll let you go over. Just say Happy New Year. Can, can monks listen to us? I think they can listen. They just can't talk. Okay. So if, if there is any monks out there that want to listen and they want to make history and call yeah. in, I mean, this, this would be groundbreaking. You guys can call in and we'll talk to you. Only if you're a monk and you've, you haven't spoken years. I, I'd love to talk to you. To break uh, this but yeah, Happy New Year's, folks. You're pretty fucking high. No, I'm just, you know, I just want to talk to a monk that uh, is a Hot Tag Podcast fan. Okay. Awesome. That's all. That's not, that's not too much to ask for. Come on, man. I gave uh, I gave him all. I gave Gucci, man. I deserve a, I deserve a conversation with a monk if I like. Now they're calling me the Jew Questrian. There you go, man. God damn you, people are funny. Jew Questrian. There you go, box man. Awesome. Questrian. I'm Jewish. Get it? I get it. I yeah. get it indeed. Yeah, it's not that funny, but I guess it is kind of. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah. Happy New Year, people. Uh, we will. Uh, I guess we will see you next year. Man, that sounds rough. But yeah, we'll see you next year. It's only a couple days away, man. Only a couple. Oh, I'm sorry, Maine. Only a couple days away, Maine. It's got only a couple days, player. Hey, man, we'll see y'all next year and shit, man. We'll be back doing the same goddamn thing, man. Gucci, man. You know what it is. The Hot Tag Podcast with my motherfucking man, Box Man. Box Man, not Box Man. Box Man. And we'll be back in 2000 and motherfucking 15, a motherfucking gangster year. Gucci, man, is taking over. I'll be doing podcasts with motherfucking pistols loaded, just sitting on my lap and shit, sipping on some syrup and shit. You know how the good folks down south do it. Wrestling forever. Yeah. Pack, my good man. Time to kick back, take some beers, and smoke some weed. And pop some goddamn pistols, because I'm Gucci Mane. All right, I'm stopping this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. We'll be back next year. Bye, y'all. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>